Street is a musical. Okay, musical theater. You have I... to learn how to act and sing, bro. And opera is just singing. It's whatever. You are incorrect, but okay. Kind of a joke. Kill him. Oh, y'all, Kill him. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys are beef? Like, are we, do we... Mm -hmm. Honestly? Soko, Soko just says inflammatory things as a joke, and... Yeah. And, and it works like, every fucking time. He does, he does, he does no, do but that. it's not the... Th the thing is, it's not the things you say that... Work. It's the way I say it. It's mm -hmm. the fact that everyone is like, he's just being a dick. He is. <laughs> and that's annoying. But it... But it is it also so funny. It, yeah. <laughs> It's funny whenever it's not you. Moral yeah. of the story is Soko is an asshole, but that's kind of his like redeeming quality, you know? My shtick. He's a consistent yeah, asshole. Which is a good. big penis. Yeah, <laughs> the, that too. That too. Minty, minty buttholes, right, Opsy? So let's let's bring that one back, huh? No. Hey, <laughs> don't even bring that up when Chris Tears around, bro. He'll fucking span that shit everywhere. <clears throat> uh, Shatter, thanks for the 22 months, homie. Appreciate you. Um, oh, God. Hey, that. guys. <laughs> It's, it's Sunday. We're back. Uh, DS, Laura isn't here right now, but she'll be home in time to join us during the break. So, uh, gang's almost all here, and we'll all be here soon. Ethan is uh, going to be here shortly. He'll be joining us like midway through announcements or whatever. He's doing his Ethan thing. But, um, hey. Check it off in the bushes. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys uh, had a great week. Ready to play some fucking D&D. &D. Uh, I'm fucking tired, by the way. So if I'm, I'm a little slow today, maybe. But um, I don't know. I went to London. It's a shithole. And I walked a lot. And I'm tired. What's up, fuck? Hey, it's no shithole. stabs, no acid. Pog. True. I survived. A lot of homeless no, no, people. I don't think that's going to be my case while I'm there. We don't, know, we don't know if he stabbed or acided anyone. We don't know. Oh, sure. good point. A lot, of, a lot of homeless people. But like the whole... Yeah, sir. The, the, the shtick of like... I'm a tourist. I don't carry cash. Just this does work. So you know, there's that. It's just a shame that you have to repeat it like 20 Wait, times a night. I feel like if you're a tourist, you're more likely to carry cash. No, we can use no. our we can use our card. We just. Boop. Oh, I know, but like I carry cash all the time when I'm in a foreign place because I feel like there's like some things that you can only get Yo, with cash. Yo, okay, scam artist, listen up. Okay. Soko's visiting your country. You know he's. Gonna I don't carry cash. <laughs> in my pocket. I'm not God stupid. Not it. I could I could pay for everything in London no, with my uh, with, with my own with my bank card. Like I, didn't, I stick I didn't it all in my asshole, guns. obviously. Right. Um, leaves plenty. Hello, Ethan. Nice of you to join us. As you go, mate. Hey, yo. Every so every week that I have a Sunday close shift, I message in the group chat like, "Oh, just so you know, guys, I'm not down to finish till this time. I might be cutting it fine." It's literally every, every week. week. I get told to fuck off. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because it's you every say week. On, like Tuesday. It's true. No, no it's fu it's fucking. Fu it's a. Soko did it a few weeks ago, and since then I've tried. I don't think I did it this time, but I've tried to always be like. I'll, I'll try to get a fuck off in there or whatever the fuck it is. It's the, just funny. The, the reason I tell you all on Tuesdays is that when I the look Soko over moment was that was one of my favorite Soko things that ever happened. Ethan, move your mic closer. Um, <laughs> no, no, I will not. Fair enough. And like, I want to get that framed, like the screenshot <laughs> I took of just Ethan <laughs> saying like I might be late and Soko just being like fuck off. Like I just <laughs> I really loved that. It's yeah, it was such a cathartic. Why are you bully me? Because it's fucking funny. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, Laura isn't here, so we're gonna be breezing through the announcements. Um. Uh, I have an announcement. Um. Th Thursday discourse will be back because I have nothing to do anymore for like the foreseeable future, and I got sacked, so I don't have a job anymore in two weeks. So pff, fuck it. Yikes. You know? Well, it's not. I didn't get fired. It's just they're not extending my contract. So like, whatever, man. Did they tell you why? Uh, yeah, because the, the like, boss lady that took over after the old boss died doesn't understand marketing and thinks she doesn't need it. So, I mean, fair enough, I guess. Yikes. <laughs> good, good so, luck. so when you leave, you can laugh as the company goes Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. So it's, it's her loss. Smile. Whatever. Um, Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, Yeah, That's so... Dangerous. I'll, I'll follow the nether deep. We did a call the nether deep uh, session last night. It will be up on YouTube at some point this week. Um, uh, keep an eye on Laura's socials and Discord and whatnot. And it'll probably be in the DS Discord as well. Um, yes. Stoko's one shot the next Saturday. Soko yeah. Has a one shot next Jesus Saturday. Christ. Everyone. Half the party hasn't made characters for it yet. I have. Yeah. I have. I did it day one. I did you, my homework, so it, yes, who, who other than me hasn't made a character? Who other you than me? You and Bell. Bell. Oh, well, fucking 
I'll, I'll <laughs> pick based on what you think the party needs, and then Bell can go fuck just it. Fucking pick whatever the fuck you want, dude. Everyone's just making memes. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't know what I want. I'm playing a, a double-edged right fallen Asimar Oathbreaker Paladin. So I'm doubling up on, on the edginess, and it's going to be great. Do I think we it's have a random character Echo right now, Knight dude. Fighter. Do we have a campaign on Doom to be on for it? Yes. Oh, yes. my God, I um, scream. I literally the one who was like, <laughs> <laughs> campaign, please. <laughs> yeah, like, while I'm golfing. Oh. Like, four messages Asshole. I sent about it, dude. Yeah, I, right? I hate this man. I hate this kid, dude. I hate him. Um, <laughs> like, ah. It's fine. I hate it too, it's fine, guys. Um, so that's that's it for me when it comes to announcements. Anyone else have anything they want to share with the class? Uh, yeah, I Ethan's playing a drow rogue female. I, see, I actually nice. have a character idea, but I was waiting. To, like, I wanted to fucking... I, I wanted to... I, wanted to I fuck. don't know anymore. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Um, I have lots of character ideas, but yeah, like, so I, I want to save them. So. I did. Happy yeah. Mother's so Day to all of the people that have mothers. Shout out to you guys. No, it's Mother's Day here, and I'm pretty sure it's Mother's Day British. in a lot of countries. In uh... it's Mother's Day <laughs> okay, here. Ethan, don't you a fucking look at me like no, that, no. you piece the of shit. The way you said it, the way you said it, eighty percent of the guy, party right now not celebrating Mother's that. Day. Well, like it's not even <laughs> the Mother's real Day countries. Here. The real countries are celebrating Mother's Day because we love our mothers. Exactly. So. It was it was the way he goes to the people that have mothers. <laughs> I would have said what that if you, man. even if you did still have a mother, Ethan. All right, it's nothing to do. With, you, you know, if the shoe fits, can't fucking wear it. Fuck you. Uh... <laughs> well, your mom's dead. What? <laughs> oh, Dude, someone please. Okay, cut I mean, that. next time Koiba flies no, for I mean, a job. Uh, next time Koiba flies for a job. Oh my god. I'm here for it, dude. I fucking love this. Yo, dude. Should, we, should we find Koiba's parents oh. on Facebook and just send him that clip? Yes. Do you know what they'd say? Do you'll be great about that. They literally just be like, nice one. Nice That's one. Craig. Be like, Look, a good son. Comedy good, <laughs> good son. Oh, fuck. Okay, oh, anyway. Um. Oh, fuck. I, that's the announcement. What are you snacking on, Koiba? Go on. hear about a dream. Oh, yo. Man. So I, I, I so, gave him a little teaser. You got a little suit. You really gave him the snack bit first, dude. I'm actually suing. Yeah. We always do that. Oh, no. We always do that. No, we don't. No, no, sorry. No, there's no bit. order to any of these things. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Dream Dude. bit first. Dream bit's better. Any dreams? Dude? No, 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 no. Food. No, no. no, no. no, no. Okay. Food first. Food first. Any uh, snacks? Food first. I don't care who the fuck uh, goes first. Like somebody go bit. now. Uh, so I got a whole Madeira cake. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cake anyway. fork this time. I don't. I have a spoon. But it serves 14, and that was what I told everyone. I just sent a picture to Dungeon State that says serves 14. And, and are you all of those 14? Because, uh, yes. Um, they also didn't have any cheap ones, so it's Madeira cake. Anyway. What even is a Madeira cake? No, it's a fucking cake. I don't fucking know, dude. And like, what does it, what's the, what does it taste like? What's, it, what's on it? What, 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 what? Cake. Madeira. Dude, can you dreams, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I had one. Okay, I got a new dream journal after last week. Let's go! Right. It's really Let's nice. Okay, it's very pretty. It is really nice. Um, shut up, Bell. No one asked you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I rescind my apology. It looks fucking trash. Oh, fuck. Damn. Um, I've had one dream. One? I probably have more than that, but I've recorded one dream. Okay, this is, okay, is going to sound silly, but it's baseball related. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you. I actually hate you. <laughs> no, here's the thing, okay? And I'll give you my interpretation of it after the fact, okay? But here's the dream, all right? So I literally played for the New York Yankees, which is the team I follow, okay? That was the dream. Except it was literally just me. Like, it wasn't like I was a, pl a baseball player. It was like me just like on the field for the New York Yankees, all right? So I played the outfield, but I had no idea where I was supposed to be standing. Um, and then I realized that I was actually supposed to be at third base. And I spent the whole time praying that the ball did not get hit in my direction. Uh, I couldn't hit the ball in a single at bat. Uh, every time the ball came towards me, I fucked it up somehow. Uh, could just barely even knew how to throw the ball. Throwing the ball felt like trying to run in a dream. Where it's like, okay. yeah, imagine that, but you're throwing something. <laughs> and then I literally like went to DJ LeMahieu, who's like a Yankees player who's just good at everything, and I was like, bro, you gotta fucking help me, man, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, that was the dream. Okay. Um, I feel like it was all just some, like, uh, imposter syndrome type bullshit, because I've just started working in this studio, but, like, expressed through baseball, because I've been watching a lot of baseball recently. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that was my dream.
Played for the Yankees, didn't know what I was doing, embarrassed myself, fucked up all over the place, couldn't hit the ball. It's great. Let's go. It sounds more like a nightmare, but you know. No, because it wasn't like scary. It was just like. Yeah, but I feel like textbook definition, bad dream is nightmare, no? Mm, I don't know. I wouldn't have called it a nightmare. It wasn't like I woke up sad or scared or anything. It was just like. Bro, I mean, come on. The good half of it is I was playing for the New York Yankees. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was getting that like milli. Yeah, a year you were letting down awful. the New York Yankees. Yeah. The New, New York Yankees already signed. Fuck Yankees, them. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Like higher paid people have, you know, done more. I mean, done worse. Fair so enough, you enough. know, at least I was trying to be better. But it was just hilarious. Like there, I, there was no like. It's not like I'd played in the minor leagues or anything. Just like twenty six year old me was just put on the field. Like, all right, off you go. <laughs> Oh, no. It's wild. All right. <clears throat> uh, anyone else have anything they want to say before we get started? Good cape. Nice. All right. Very good. Quick shout out to Cups. It's back at you, Eva. Um. Okay. In that case, last we left off, the party made their way to uh, the Shadowfell. Uh, more specifically, to the part of the Shadowfell um, called Brovia, which is uh, the domain of a particularly powerful uh, vampire lord, count, if you will. Um, and the reason the party is there is because Brooks's um, brother... Uh, has been taken there, and uh, they want to get him out, essentially. Uh, so they arrived in this um, very dark and, 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 and mysterious village, werewolves roaming the streets, the undead marching through alleyways, um, met some friendly faces in the form of a shopkeep and his uh, bulk, his, 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 his yoked uh, family member. Uh, learned a couple of things there, learned some, learned some things about some points of interest throughout this town they're in, uh, and also learned about some points of interest where they're going to be have to heading... What the fuck was that sentence? I think I just had a stroke. Um, some point of interest throughout the realm uh, in which they will find powerful tools if they do decide to take the fight to um, Mr. Strahd himself. Um, but for now, I think... We ended it as you left the shop and head across the street to the tavern, which was named mm -hmm. the Blood of the Vine uh, Tavern. You were told that you could potentially acquire a map of the not just the, the town, but the entire like province, I guess I'll call it, for lack of a better term. Um, so yeah. You, uh, you, 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 you cross the street and you're all kind of gathered, collected in front of this tavern. You uh, once again see the um, a single shaft of light thrusting some illumination onto the main square. Brightness looking like a solid pillar in the heavy fog above the doorway. A sign hangs uh, precariously askew, proclaiming this to be the Blood of the Vine Tavern. What do you like? What would you like to do? Uh, do we hear anything coming from inside the tavern? Uh, make me a uh, perception check. Whoa. Eight. Eight? Eight. Eight. You hear some very faint murmuring. Mm. Can't really make anything of it, but there, you, you hear sound coming from the other side, yes. And I'll go walk on in. Fuck it. Right. So you can walk in? Alright, dude. Yeah. Alright. Uh, as you walk in, or as you open the door, you hear this like very... It's kind of like one of those... The door <clears throat> isn't properly seated anymore, so when you push it open, it kind of scrapes over the floor. Um, but as you uh, look inside, you can see a handful of, of individuals. You can see four people inside, a barkeep, and uh, three human-looking individuals sitting at a table, uh, drinking what seems to be um, some some watered-down ale from wooden mugs. 
uh, the barkeep is is this pudgy, smaller man. He's just mindlessly kind of cleaning glasses, doesn't even look at you when you enter. The three people at the table do look at you, and like and the air kind of falls quiet, but after a few seconds, they just slowly begin to resume their conversation again. That's not disturbing at all. I walk up to the barkeep. He looks at you and still still cleaning the glass. And you uh, see him, like he has like a stack of these clean glasses, and he's cleaning the last one. And he... I'll get you a drink. And cleans again, puts the glass down, and then picks up another clean glass and just begins cleaning that again. Like he's just continuously uh, cleaning glasses that are already cleaned. Same glass. Oh, what, what? Um, no. But I was told that you might have something of interest here. What's your patch of insight? My passive insight is 21. 21. As you mm. say that, he kind of, you can see his eyes kind of widen. And then you can see him shoot some nervous looks to the trio at the table. And he just looks at you. Oh, all I got is drinks. I, got, I can't, I don't know. What is it? Drinks? You want a drink? Where? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now... Can I gain from that, like, nervous look over? Is that because he's worried about those, that group? Or is it that he's just, like, signaling? Um, for that, I want you to make an insight check. See so okay, if you can, you can read what, it, what exactly the, the looks were about. Uh, 29. Do I even bother rolling <laughs> a deception <laughs> check? I mean, fuck it, you, you know? Not we'll, we'll, yet. We'll, we'll give it a try, I guess. <laughs> I, I I will say I am, like, expertise in insight. <laughs> An 11 won't do that, I think. Um, so in that case... That's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you um, get the sense... That, that look that he that he like he kind of like shot a look at the, the the trio at the table was he was nervous and he was making sure that they weren't looking at him when you asked that question you you get the sense ah, but fuck it with that fucking roll you, you get the sense that he is scared of what those people might do if they hear him talk about anything else but serving drinks. I see. Well, um, <clears throat> you, you and your friends, you, you want a drink, right? Yeah, sorry, I, I heard about a special ale, but might go wrong pub. Get turned around here. Um, if, uh, ale <laughs> is one copper a mug, but if you want uh, want proper pitchers, there'll be one silver a, a, a pitcher. Kind of stammering I will, and, and, and like he's, yeah, he's nervous. I will nervous. slide over uh, gold, but say, yeah, just one copper uh, for a mug. He just like puts it in, his, fucking... <clears throat> puts it in his pocket and pours you an ale. And I will. Uh, wait, hold on. Um, and as he hands you the ale, yeah. he, um, he's like, oh, here's your change. And he, like, reaches for your hand. Yeah. And he slips a small note in in your hand. Okay. I will sort of turn. And he goes back to just, like, very nervously just cleaning these already clean glasses. Like, he's just... Yeah. Did the group follow me in, or are they just fucking watching from afar? I, don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I would have followed. followed. Far, but... I would have okay. followed. Yeah. Then I will just sort of turn around and sort of make like a little huddle in the group, and just like so I'm looking protected and being like, okay, and I'll read the note. <laughs> and I'm like trying to like secretly be like, if there's like a got like a huddle going. Um. Just... Balance it. It's in my palm. Okay. The note is just can't talk, being watched. 
meet at church in an hour. I thought we were going to the church anyway. Just everything we've talked about. After all that okay, fighting. Listen, guys, I'm going to have to, like, yeah. derail you a little bit, because uh, we have a guest next week. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> fuck him, <away. laughs> Wait, like, does that mean you. we can go get our money back? Because he, the map isn't here. Smile. Nope. Um, Kill the guy for it. As you all enter, there's this group of three people definitely like keep their eyes on you, because it's not normal for a group that isn't just a bunch of skinny malnourished commoners to step into this tavern, let alone people of all manner of races and that this well equipped. So they're they're looking at you. How well equipped are they? Hmm. Hey, uh, How well equipped are they? Um. Make a perception check. Ooh. Seventeen. Can I, can I? Can I also look? Yeah, sure. Make a perception check. Oh, yeah, no, that'd be twenty. That'd be twenty. Um, I'd say the both of you can see that they have some. I got the hiccups. Some short swords hanging. They're kind of like like the the. the the tip of the blade. They're not like in sheaths or anything, but they are attached to their belt, and you can see like the tip of their blade, kind of uh, peeking from under their the the coat that they're wearing. Um, other than that, they they seem human enough, but not as malnourished as, for instance, the shopkeep from across the street and this barkeep. They definitely seem like they look. I wouldn't say they look well fed, but they look fed enough. This guy eats. <laughs> um. Are they? <laughs> wouldn't be probably wouldn't be able to identify a vampire at a glance, but like, but they got fangs. Yeah. <laughs> um, I say with a twenty, Davian. I'll say that um, whenever you they see them human. like go for a sip, they do have to open mm -hmm. their mouth a little bit, and uh, you don't notice any like big like protruding fangs in their mouth or anything, though. No? Mm. Should I get close to them? Too looking ass in sizes or That's no, no, they, they look fairly, uh, fairly normal. But but fed. Yeah, not like, not as malnourished but, as the other people you've seen in this town. Yeah, they get so the probably pedestrian. like some kind of enforcer or something. Mm -hmm. How's the barman look? Does he look healthy? Malnourished. Scared. Just mm. mindlessly cleaning glasses that don't need cleaning. How's and, uh, the uh how's the beer, Legend? I It tastes like, very watered down. Literally the <laughs> tiniest sip of like like any water more than three hours. Yeah, away. that's 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 very accurate. <laughs> it just tastes like it's Probably had ale in it maybe about a year ago. <laughs> and it's just water. <laughs> we, have, we, we, we have wine too. Want wine? I'll look I... over to the table of three. Mm -hmm. what, what, are, what are they drinking? Uh, two of them are drinking, like, what you assume is also ale out of a wooden mug, but one of them is sipping a glass of wine. I will. Um... Mm. I'm like on the fence because I'm thinking like maybe if I kick kick up some kind of a stink over how shit the ale is, it'll be less suspicious. But I also don't want them to beat the shit out of the guy for serving piss ale. <laughs> At least like, I mean, it's like they, they must know that it's piss ale. Well, but yeah, they're probably getting the good stuff though. I'm approaching the three people. Yeah, so why would they give a shit about okay. me? That's what I'm thinking. I I will I will. Hmm. Mm. Remind me what the note said. Me it said uh, can't, can't talk, can't talk being yet. watched, meet at church in an hour. Um, I will. I'll take. If if he allows if if he lets me, I'll take the cup out of Elazarin's hand and I will sip it for myself. Mm -hmm. 
and I will just be like, oh, this is fucking terrible. And I'll walk over to the bar and I'll put it down on the bar. We'll go somewhere else, thanks. And I'll just kind of usher everyone towards the door. Um, <clears throat> okay, Kess. Yeah. Did you hear that? But while they were like having that conversation, you kind of slipped towards these these three people. Uh, they 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 seem to not really pay you any mind or like are like actively like they perceive you, but they're you know not really ready. They're not talking to you or anything. They're just kind of their conversation just kind of falls flat, and they just kind of look at each other and just kind of like very like shrug shoulders, have a sip, and they don't really say anything. The, the classic where you like put one arm on the table and just kind of look around. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I'm gonna address the one that was drinking wine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, all three of these uh, humans are, have like their hoods up, uh, but you, as you get closer, you notice that uh, two of these humans are are uh, male and one of them is female, and it is the woman that is that is having the wine. Okay. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I really hate ale, and I wanted to just check and ask how the wine was. It's all right. Worth getting or trying to find somewhere else? <laughs> find somewhere else, but <laughs> good luck. Damn. Who, what brings you to town? See so your eyes kind of narrow while looking at you. Well, okay, I'll tell you a little secret. Secrets? You like secret. I have a bit of a habit of getting lost mm. and uh, I may have convinced my friends that we were going somewhere else and then I got confused and now we're here. And I don't exactly know what's going on and I'm just trying to pretend that I do. So if you could just kind of not tell them that I don't know what's going on, that Make would be great. Make a deception check. Uh, 25. This realm is a dangerous place for those that don't know where they are and where they're going. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff. Mm. So what's your plan now? Looking for a way out? Yeah, probably. Good luck. That's very encouraging. It wasn't meant to be. Mm -hmm. I figured. Well, I'm grateful for your help. Just goes back to sipping her wine. <clears throat> I will turn back and go to the others. At this point, Davin, you will have like put the mug down, and you're kind of ushering everyone to just get out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bit shit, you're in it. Yeah. <laughs> We, we've got better drinks than this. Like, yeah. we'll be fine. We got what we came for, you know? I think I still have cider. <laughs> I have a lot of drinks, if that's what we're worried about. But it's, no. it's not, so... You're a walking bar cart. Yeah, mm. literally. Alright, so you step back out of the, 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 the tavern. Um, what are you guys doing? Where the fuck do we go now, then? The church, uh, I guess. What do you think? El Churcho. What, uh, what, and just wait there? I think I, I've got a better idea. No, that's why I'm well, asking. Then, perfect. It, 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 that's what I'm, I'm having a trip. Keep it down. Let's just go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> fuck up the trip. <laughs> just bewildered. <laughs> the church is the right. church quite easy to see and such fine yeah it's, it's um as yeah. you kind of look towards the northern side of town you can already see this uh, like a top on a, uh, on top of a slight rise um you can see a gray sagging 
building made of stone and wood. Um, definitely looks like it's def weathered the assaults of, of, of evil forces for uh, quite a long time. And it is very worn, very, very weary. Uh, a bell tower rises towards the back. Uh, you can see that it's surrounded, uh, not surrounded, but it has like on the side and that kind of leads towards the back of the building, a very large cemetery as well. Mm. The, yeah, I guess I'll just start heading over as much as we, I mean, try not to be on the, I'm at least going to be on the lookout to see if there's just any more fucking weird shit, as okay. it were, <laughs> just like. As you're making your, like the church from here is like, it's like, a, it's like a 10 minute walk tops, like this village isn't very big. Yeah. Um, Can I just do the same as I was before and kind of stay on the roofs and keep an eye out for yeah uh nasty. all the Fuck buildings work. in this like once you get to the hill that you kind of have to climb um to get to the church itself there's no more like surrounding rooftops but until you get to that point yeah absolutely very easy yeah. to, I'll, to, move to uh i'll send hawthorne with him and look through hawthorne's eyes again and okay. just before Darian goes just say um if you see anything you need to tell us anything just tell hawthorne and he'll i'll be in his head so i'll know oh yeah okay uh, i'll also send onu up mm -hmm. above. Um, Piggyback on Daigon again. <laughs> yep. Daigon piggyback. <clears throat> uh, were you kind of keeping an eye out on things uh, while you're walking, Elasmus, is that what you said? Yes. I make a perception check, and then I'll say that Davian, since you're on the roofs, also kind of having overwatch, make a perception check as well. As uh, Hawthorne as well, fuck it, why not? Cool. Oh, 23. Perception, yeah. 22. Nice, nice. Fourteen. Uh, Hawthorne doesn't hear any of this, but uh, the other two, uh, you do. You hear the sound of small wooden wheels kind of rolling and squeaking across damp cobbles. Um, and as you kind of look around, you trace the, the lonely sound to a hunched figure bundled in rags, pushing a rickety wooden cart through the foggy streets. Does... And as uh, you kind of like catch where the sound is coming from, you can see you're just like kind of like rounding a corner and just, just the squeaking sound of the wheels, but also the, at the same time they're like doo -doo 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 from it like bouncing up and down the cobbles. What's in the cart? I say, does the seem does the cart look like the type you would kind of see people carrying the dead in? Um, no. Bring out your dead. Um, <laughs> you can't really tell what's in the cart because it's like covered by by some kind of rag. Um, and if you mm. want to figure out more, you're gonna have to try. Yeah, you know, you're gonna have to follow or get a little closer at least. It doesn't pass by us, right? No, it just uh, you can. You guys don't see any of this. It's just uh, a Lazarin uh, of the people on the ground that sees it, and then Davian up on the roof. You can just see it and hear it kind of turn the corner uh, at the end of the street you're on. Turning away right. from us or to, like onto the same street as us? Uh, turning away. Mm. No, I just give a mental note of like where it was going. And I just let them know. I was like, there was some weird cart thing being moved, but I don't think... I'll, <laughs> I'll <laughs> whisper to fucking um, Hawthorne. I'm going to I'm gonna go check it out. And I will... Uh, Dart up ahead along on the roofs. Okay. Davian's looking into it. As you do that, Davian, <laughs> mm. you um see her knocking on the doors of the houses. Uh, majority of the houses don't answer. But then, um, as you keep like shadowing, not shadowing her per se, but like keeping an eye on her, it seems that one of the people. Uh, one of the houses, the door does open, and she reveals that in her cart, she's carrying all manner of pies. Pies? And she hands a pie to uh, the person in the door, and in exchange, the man at the door pushes a small, young, maybe seven-year-old boy towards the woman. The woman picks the boy up, gags him, and stuffs him in a bag. 
and straps the bag like, to the cart. She's the bag lady. Wherever Hawthorne is, I will the just like grab Hawthorne by the scruff of the neck and like <laughs> hey, pull careful, him out so he's careful. watching the same thing I am. What the just fuck? Just to make sure I guess you can see it. Yeah, I will so at that point, you also see that. I will explain everything that happened to <laughs> everyone else. Child snatch. <laughs> Pies for kids. Pies for kids. And not could... like feeding the kids, but in exchange for. You, you could definitely get a lot more for than one pie for a child. God. <laughs> what the fuck? Pie. <laughs> be a fucking good pie. Uh, shit. How far away is she? Uh, from where you are, I'd say it's just like she's like sixty feet away. Just going by the going by the houses one by one. Uh, um. Can I throw my iron bands at Bilaro at her? Sorry. Can I can I throw my iron bands with Bellaro at her? Yeah, you can certainly try. It's sixty foot range. Uh, it's uh, it's just an attack roll. Uh, for you, right? Yeah, attack roll with good odds. But fucking hell, if I was ever gonna miss, it'd be throwing it at some random lady in the street, <laughs> wouldn't it? I don't like that. It's a, it's a ten. It is a ten. Uh, you miss, and the, the 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 band just kind of like clatter on the floor, like the ball, like dink 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 dink, and she looks up and sees you and begins pushing the cart and just runs, is beginning to run away. Okay, well, I mean, first things first, I need that fucking ball back. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, can I send Onu to fetch it? Yeah, of course. So Onu can fly 60 feet. So Onu will fly and pick up the ball. I will run along the rooftop tr trying to keep up with the the lady. Yeah. Okay. Um like you're not trying to hide, right? Because you've been made, so you're just you're just trying to catch keep up. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just like running in a straight uh, well, I mean as straight line as I can along the rooftops. I don't mm -hmm. know how like straight along the the, the street is. Um Yeah. Yeah, she's 60 feet away. Oh, I'm gonna kill her. She, um, I'll just go on. Seems to be running towards uh, the, the western exit of, of the town. Um, so you're kind of like in the central, we're kind of in the central area. Um, she is, she's heading westward. So, Can like, opposite that? the way that you came into the town from, I guess. Yeah. At this point, yeah, I uh, like, Hawthorne sees this, of course. Sees that Davin's beginning yeah, to yeah, chase. Yeah, yeah. So, like, guess you are also, like, informed of what's happening over there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, Davin's, Davin's chasing the woman. Well, looks like we're going, then. And I'll fucking... You start flying. You fucking... Yeah. I guess I'll uh, pick up Kess uh, because she can't uh, fucking. Actually, uh, I mean, the Kess oh, is being picked up by back yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't start flying because I can only do it one more time and I don't want to oh, waste okay. it. Loser. Loser. So I'm just going to run. Going to run. Yeah, can I can I cast Entangle? Yeah, absolutely. And I will just yell That's out, like, fruitly. Stop! And I'll fucking cast <laughs> Entangle. In the name of the law! Uh, because it's a 90 foot range. So, mm -hmm. yeah, she has to make Jesus a strength Christ. save. And close. Strength save? She fails. Yeah, it's some bullshit. Natural four. So she's not entangled. All right. And it's, as she yep. gets entangled and kind of lets go of the cart, I'll let him go. I'll let him go. Just don't hurt me. I'll hop down off the roof as fucking Onu gives me my fucking iron bands back. And I high five him. <laughs> um, <laughs> the bird high five. How do you high five a bird? 
Just, uh, just smack it in the face. Just, just use like your imagination, bro. Come on now. Beak to hand. Wing, foot, whatever. I don't know. Oh my god, the foot. The big claw, just claws your hand. This one here. Let's <laughs> 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 go in between the fingers, fucking... obviously. At this point, mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's very easy oh, for you guys just... to catch up because, like I said, the, the, the village isn't very yeah. big at all. So you guys kind of around the corner and you can see this woman, this like very old lady, kind of like pleading with Davian. Like, I'll let him go. I'll let him go. It's. Don't hurt me, please. I'm gonna come back to my senses. Mm -hmm. um, Why are you a child snitch? <laughs> and I'm gonna cast Charm Personal. Interesting. Okay. How charming. Uh, what's Is that a wisdom save? Yeah. Ooh, that's uh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she'll, she'll... There's no need for these tricks. No. I'm of I my like own mind. People. Whatever you want to know, I'll tell. Just don't hurt me. Why are you fucking giving people powers for their kids? It... It's something my people do. I don't... That's a great reason. And she'll, like... What do you mean when you Drop her guys and... Oh, she a goblin? She reveals this, like, these long claws... This, oh, this, this hag? malformed <laughs> face. Um, she's a hag, yeah. I was on the way back to Old Bone Grinder. I. Just, just, we, my people and the people of this village have have, 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 have have a deal. They buy pies, they sacrifice their first bone. Naturally. Also, like one pie per child? That's that's horrendous, dear. You have never had the pleasure of eating my pies, young man. It's like one like pie. Like berry pie or so some shit. Laced like, with cocaine. Pie. Close. Let's just say that my pies have the ability to make you forget the sad reality the people here are living in for a a good amount of time. And that's a commodity that is worth a lot of people. Before we talk anymore, can you please put the boy down out of the bag? All right, all right. Takes the boy out of the bag, ungangs him. I mean, run home, child. I see. And the boy just is <laughs> sprinting home. over the difficult I don't, terrain. I don't, yeah, over I don't know terrain. if he. I don't know if he should be going home. Now ah, they got that pie. Now we they can get, get another one. Us. Oh. Now he gets pie. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, because the best parents are the parents that were willing to give you away for a pie. Where well, else is he gonna go? The mother was very hesitant. The father is just desperate enough. What do you want to know, please? If there's anything else, I've let him go. Let me. Can I leave? I, I'm not looking for a fight. I know you'll win. I. I just. I let the boy Mr. go. Dio. Hmm. What, the, what does Brooks know about hags, if anything? Make a... How many does a group know about hags, if anything? Mm. Can I actually ask the same question? <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Um... Have we in character... I know I know. there's been times where we missed no, a hag. No, we've never encounter. met a hag. We've missed a hag encounter, but I don't think we've oh. met a hag. Uh, I, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, Thank I'll God, say yeah. that... Well, cause Mr. Brooks, <laughs> make a history check with disadvantage. Oh, fuck. I only have a plus one. Kess, make a history check with advantage. Oh, yeah, you know God. what? For disadvantage, I did all right. Mm -hmm. I actually rolled two but 17s. I nice. also got a 17. Okay. Hey. Uh, you uh, both... My total is 18. 18, 17, okay. Uh, you both know that hags, there's a manner of varieties of hags. Um... Are 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 fey creatures um, tied to very powerful primal forces, um, whose whose foul magic has, has has definitely haunted many like fairy tales that have been uh, made up over the years. Um, very ugly, very heinous. Uh, they embody what is meant, what what it, what what it meant, what it means to be ugly inside and out. Essentially, they are. Um, so it's not that she feels any remorse, it's just that she doesn't want to die. Yeah, she doesn't regret it, but she doesn't want to die, so she's like, okay, I'm, 
I'm not here for a fight. I don't want to die. What do you want to know? What what like what can I do to get out of here alive? Yeah. I my name is my name is Morgantha. I I, I live in Old Bone Grinder. It's a small um, village, if you will, not too far from here. Um, they'll know if I've gone missing. So please just. I, I have information. You seem new to this to this land, not native. I might have information you, you you'd like to know, but I need some kind of guarantee that I get to walk out of here alive. I'm just gonna glance at Cass. Um. Are you guys, are you guys good with letting her go once we have answers to our questions? I, mean, I promise I mean, you, I'm the least of she... your worries if you're in these lands. There's a lot more heinous things walking around than me. Yeah, exactly. Like... Heinous things I can potentially give you information about. Help you exactly. on your way. You guys good with this? I mean, look, look, if we let her go, some other fucking hag is going to show up and start trading pies with kids. So... <laughs> At the end of the day, like, man, yeah, well, 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 there's no reason, there's really no reason to kill her. You have my word that when we have answers to our questions, you may go back. Make a persuasion or deception check. Uh, whichever you choose it to be, because you might be lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way she said you have my word. Oh, it's really... I mean, all we, that's all we have. How can you guarantee to someone, yeah, we won't kill you? Other 22. Than yeah. Killing her now. You have my word, but All not right. my intent. What? I, I, look, I believe you. Um, I, um, well, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're not here to, 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 to visit any tourist attractions, because we don't have those. You're here to, f you're here to fight him? And she kind of, like, nods towards the looming large castle, kind of, like, overlooking Barovia from, like, this large hillside. I mean, not like Maybe. We'll see how we feel uh, later. Maybe we should not be the ones answering questions here. Yeah, that wasn't my deal. Okay. We will ask the questions. Well, <laughs> I'm asking you because... Where are your papers? You yeah. have... You met people in this town. A couple. Mm. Mm, what yeah, they look like? like Do they look malnourished and miserable or not? There were yes. some that were malnourished and miserable. There were some that were not malnourished and miserable. Mm. Just miserable. Well, Just yeah. The people weird. not looking malnourished um, work for him. They're spies. They're, they're a group of people called the, the Vistani. Um, they have some camps throughout the land, and they, they act as his spies, too. so if you're doing anything that you don't want him to know about, just make sure you avoid those people. Um, I can give you the location of, of, of some of the camps. Um, there's, there's, there's one camp to the west on the shores of the Tsur Pool. Um, uh, and there's another one on the outskirts of Valaki, which is a, a town, uh, not too far from here. Um... So, if, you, if you're doing anything that you'd rather not have him know about, then avoid avoid the Vistani and avoid those camps. What was at the church? <laughs> oh, the church. Right. Um, the church is uh, a thorn in Strahd's side. Um, it's been trying to tear it down for, for a while, and somehow it's still standing. Um, it, there's, I don't know exactly, as I've never been, but there's rumors about the church and the man who runs it. Um, at the depth of night, um, you can hear agonized screams coming from the Undercraft. Um, and there's a, a nightly phenomenon uh, known as the March of the Dead. Have you heard of that? No, but it sounds fascinating. Well, it is. Um, every night around midnight, um, which kind of hard to tell when, but it's a good indicator of when it, midnight is, is when this phenomenon happens. 
uh, one hundred exactly one hundred spirits rise from the cemetery and march up the old Shadage Road to Castle Ravenloft. Nobody knows why. Nobody knows why it's always exactly one hundred, but they all get up, and this is this green, eerie light march uh, travels up the road to the castle, never to be seen again. And it, this happens every night. I don't really know what it's about or, or why. Um, these aren't the spirits of people that, that were buried there because, well, 100 every night, uh, even in places like these, uh, the, the death count isn't that high. There is a theory, though. There's a theory that these spirits saw people like you that have tried to destroy Strahd. And every night, these ghostly adventurers attempt to complete their quest to fail over and over again, and the cycle repeats. Every night, they wake up from their death to fail again and again and again. So. That's fun. Not at all, and you'd be wise to avoid <clears throat> such a fate. No, Why exactly 100? Is there any significance to that? Sorry? Why exactly 100? Is there any significance to that? I don't know. I guess it was just... I don't know, really. That is, it's 100. I'm counting on myself a handful of times. The same 100 Must spirits every bored. night. Every single time. Hmm. Hmm. Odd question, but do they look the, the same? Like, like, do they look like who... They were in their past lives, I suppose, and yes, and all manner of out, uh, all manner of people, elves, dwarves, humans, uh, all kinds of people, and, and it's the same group every night. Yes, uh, my my thoughts are that they've got killed by Strad or his minions, and this is their afterlife curse to repeat that night, every night, and fail their quest over and over again. Until the end of time. I wonder if I hate they'd this. be willing to have a chat. Hey, this yeah. place fucking sucks. I thought hell was miserable. I mm. think I preferred being in the house. Yeah, you would. The hells are much nicer. It, smell it smells better here. What do you mean I would? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, elaborate. Well, I you think she's referring to the tiefling blood in you, sir. She gets me. <laughs> she's like me for real. <laughs> she's like me. <clears throat> yeah, she's ugly on the inside and the outside. <laughs> Throw back to when Kaz go call a hag of so, the I've given you information about some of his spies and where to find the camps. And just, Can I go? Do we have any other questions? What do you need the kids for? Dinner. Mm. But you've got pies. Why not just eat pies? No, because the pie... <laughs> this guy always this. I, I, because I prefer children. I prefer not being here, but sometimes things fucking suck. <laughs> On that, I don't we mind can agree. Um... How did you end up what's here? It, what, 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 what's in the pie exactly? Other than uh, the, fact the, it makes the, people the mince pies. Like heroin, like... But there is there the 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 they're enchanted to um mm. you know make you feel a little less miserable about your current sad reality for a while. How too. many buyers do you have in this town? Um, I come by here. Once a week, and um, well, I'll, I'll at least be able to, you know, snag a child or two every week. Snag a child Fucking or hell. two. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, boys, I got a good haul. I got twins. <laughs> we don't know which one was born first. I understand this may seem vile to you, but this is, this is, this is, what? it's normal the to me. The circle yeah. of life. <laughs> A little fucked, you know. Yes. Oh. 
Okay. How so many judgy. of you are there? Uh, let me double check that for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in three list and seven. Um, let me check my notes on my own. How many hags can we fight? Um, At least seven. It's like how many ducks versus a horse? What? We can kill eight if we have the I Love Barovia t shirt on. I, do you know what? Up until the I Love Barovia t-shirt, I thought you were going to drop some serious, like, CR-based knowledge. No. Oh. There's, about, there's, there's about three or four of us. It's, uh, it's it, it, Sorry? Uh, our character speaking, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, I coven, you know, so for, for three or four hags. Um, I'm the oldest and, and kind of take charge so I'm I, this is not a threat but if I were to go missing those three will come looking for me and they'll do a lot more than take a child or two but you're the one in charge yes we can take three hacks why are you guys so mean <laughs> What, are you about to tell me that you are like, you know, ooh, you eat children as well, Kess? Is this what you're about to say, huh? Some oh, this is straight out like fucking child. Witcher 3 crones looking ass of like, <laughs> oh, a yeah. little village that's just being preyed on by a fucking bunch of, you know, horrible Bit. crones. Hags. Hags. Well, I think, I think, grinder I think is, happy uh, is where we live. It's, it's, a, it's a mill. Uh, of some sorts, and it's, you know. Oh, it grinds bones instead of wheat? I get it. Yes. Yes, it does. Nice. Is it cool? Yes, it's... Oh, uh, children bones thing? grind difficultly? I mean... Uh, no, they're quite uh, easy to grind compared what? to adult oh, bones. Oh, funny, right? Yeah. What a shocker to the system that is. Mm. <laughs> um, you interested in a, in a dream pastry? Free of charge. No, I'm grand. Oh, I would Lord. love one. No, I feel like it might have child <laughs> in it. <laughs> it probably. Well, no. I don't think it has. Said. It might have child bone. She like it. reveal the pastries and they they look uh, and and smell like like mince meat pies. Um, like like British mince like pies Christmas. or like actual like beef mince. Like like like. Min like Pip pip, uh, British uh, mince pies. Oh, like. so it's like dried fruit and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll uh, take one. I also as have you know that you're, you know, only eat it if you're ready to have a few hours of. of uh, it's 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 a it's a trance, so you won't be able to do anything. Just just cool. be aware of that. Oh, I guess you know. Feed it to somebody and whatever. Does it have children in it? No. We eat the children. Oh, is she lying? We that's, eat the children. That seems like we a don't, waste we of don't child. take the children to make right. more pies. What that's where's the, the profit point? in that? Yeah. We eat What's the your children business ourselves. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone knows this is a sustainable business model. Mm hmm. Well, we get to live because we eat children, and in exchange, we give people uh, the high of a lifetime. But you could eat something else. Are you offering? You can see her kind of like this wicked grin. And... Haven't had an adult in a while. No, I'm just saying like... I mean, he's he's gonna be a bit chewy. Amy. Amy's the one I in the bone grinder. Or True. Oh. You know, you could eat something that's not people. That sounds awfully dreadful. We have, you know, once anyway. in a while, we run out of children and some, like, wild critters will yeah, have to Yeah, can we get it? You're, you're being freaky. Uh, please go. I've had, I I don't want to hear this. So please. Would you mind? Please, oh. And she kind of, like, points towards right. the, like, the vines, like, just... still wrapping around her legs. Would you mind? Yeah. Oh, you can, get, you can get out of that yourself. Have fun. Oh, my God. Just let that her go. That was a deal. <laughs> want a pie? You're free to... <laughs> <laughs> no? All right. Uh, and turns herself back into this like frail old lady and begins to start trying to like rip the the, the vines away. 
Um, what's, the, what's the saving throw she needs to make for that? The strength. strength? I can't imagine she's super strong. No. She'll like, for like half a minute, but struggling, and then, fuck this. And you can see her arm become this like large, like clawed hag arm again, and she just, whoosh, and turns it back to, to her old lady state. And bye. Bye. Hi, the nice to meet you. Down the road and gets out of there. <laughs> I put my pie into my bag of cold egg. <laughs> oh, you did. You did take a pie from her. I did take a pie. Okay. I okay. also took yeah. a pie. All right. Uh, put a in your inventory. Put a uh, a dream pastry. Dream pastry. I, yeah, this... I put it as hag mincemeat pie. <laughs> oh, that works too. But they're called. I dream, really dream don't trust this. About what? Oh. What do you mean, the child eater? Yeah, no, kind of not trustworthy people. Ugh, I mean... You guys are so judgy. I'll be honest. Oh, I know that we don't get anything from going and killing them, but I just don't like them. If we happen to be in the area... Ugh. Add it to the list. What do you mean we don't get anything from... Well, okay. Like, that's a... We do the get list. the satisfaction of stopping people eating the children in the town. But we also cut the town off from its supply of escape from this absolute hellscape. Yeah, so, like what? What do you? Why? Yeah, but if I'll be honest, the drugs. if they're the sort of people that give up their children, they don't deserve an escape from this place. I mean, it's desperation. But it is sort of a double whammy escape where the parents get an escape and the children get an escape because they die. Yeah. Win win. No, I'm. Win, because then the no, hags get to eat the children and they... Have I am aware that I'm not the paragon of morality in this group, but there, there are a lot of things I'm willing to argue semantics. I am not willing to argue over giving up children. That is fucked, and there's no justification for it. No, it is all pretty horrible, but it's hard to pick who is the worst person here and, like, really... I don't know. Maybe we should just kill everybody. <laughs> Not the kids. That's gonna take so long. No, just... right. We kill the parents. Oh, the killing spree the whole <laughs> I mean, if the parents want out that bad, you know, that they're willing to sell the kids. If it talks, it dies. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I get anyway. the point you're making, but... <sighs> it's, we we have more have important brain. stuff to be dealing with, you guys. You're only trying to save one, like... Wait, how old your brother, Brooks? Oh, fuck. Now you're making me think. <laughs> uh, Does he know his own backstory? Uh, uh -oh. Off the top of my head, I don't know my own fucking name. Uh, Aberyn. Aberyn would be 31. That's not a kid. Baby. He can take care of himself. Why are we here? He's That's older me. than me. He's, he's sick. older than me, but he's, he's my like little brother. All that, bro. He's, he's like, like sick. Walk. Yeah, so is Bell. He's fucking <laughs> sick. <laughs> What's that? I'm not seeing this. I'm not yeah, the difference is Bell but... isn't a fucking plot device. Okay? Or being kidnapped. <laughs> oh. How do you know, dude? Bell's an NPC in my story. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Bell's an NPC in right. my story. Bro. Um, Bell's a fucking big bad evil guy in my story. <laughs> Just shit you guys written. write terrible fanfics. Did okay. you hear Koiba misgender you then? Okay. Anyway, um, no, I didn't say <laughs> so the, the this hag has, has left in the, in the, while you guys are still kind of just processing what the fuck is transpired. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's seven servings of cake, my dude. What do you? Did he just? Did he? Did he he has the. He showed the cake. It's half gone. <laughs> that is seven servings of cake. How this many calories eats. per serving? This guy eats, bro. Damn, dude, can you can eats. you pre-workout with a Madeira cake? Probably. <laughs> Like how many calories I, mean, only, I can pre something with a Madeira cake. How many calories <laughs> per serving? Oh, is it? Would that be cake cow? Uh, or is that yeah. kg? Uh, two hundred two hundred and sixty per per serving. Yeah, times up by fourteen. Two sixty for no, a slice no, no. of cake is not bad. Like low key. No, no, th that That's little cake good. said that there was fourteen servings. He he's eaten seven, so he's yep. eaten one thousand eight hundred calories with a cake already. <laughs> That's not that bad. Oh, man. The daily like uh, the daily intake for an adult is like two thousand to two thousand five hundred. Don't yeah. judge the man. 
I'm judging him. He just doesn't want to have to eat the whole day, so he Judge, just eats today. you should, don't tell me not to judge the man. We're supposed to be the fat dudes, and he's eating, sitting here Dude, eating. Dude, if I had a whole cake to my fucking disposal, I fuck, I'd go to town right now, bro. I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm yeah, jealous. Agreed. I'm jealous of him. Which is a rare thing, because I'm jealous of Koibot. What's great is tomorrow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate myself tomorrow even more than I already do. <laughs> do you have work tomorrow? Fuck no. Okay, right. Anyway, so hot, let's um. Don't leave the bathroom. bathroom. Back let's, to the let's, let's, boy eating hags. Let's get back to back to. <laughs> the cake eating well, the boy, boy eating hags left. We're good. I got my iron bands back. Mm -hmm. Fucking, she's gone. We got some information. Let's go to church. Yep. Take me, Take to, me to, to church. church. <laughs> uh, as you get to the church, we'll say that this interaction with uh the hag has also taken up like twenty minutes of your time. So it's not quite an hour later, but it's it's you know thirty to forty five minutes later uh, once you once you uh, get to the church. Uh, what you see when approaching is um, <clears throat> again uh, this 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 building looks like it's weathered a lot of attacks. You can see that like at the on the front doors, you can see these heavy wooden doors are covered with claw marks and are scarred by fire. Um, it's it looks like it's been through some shit, but it's still standing. Yay! Once we get onto the grounds, mm -hmm. do I feel anything? Slight wind, no slight nausea. There's this very faint. Holy essence still around. I mean, you need that acid. It's not cursed, <laughs> I don't think. Need some problems. I don't say. It still <laughs> feels a bit, a bit gross, which to me says that it's probably okay. Would you say it's a gut feeling? I would say that you know how I feel in churches, so the fact that this feels a little bit icky to me is a good sign. A sign? We don't know if it's good or bad. It might be an evil church. Oh, thing. yes, it mind. can be... Maybe you're just repulsed by the hag's pie. Actually, you raise a good point. I don't know how I'd feel if it was, like, hallowed ground to an evil deity. I think it's taking consecrated ground rather than hallowed, but you know. Whatever the fuck the term is. It would be holy ground. ground, actually. If it's I mean, holy ground, really to decide whether the evil is evil or not, though, you know. I feel and like it's pretty cut and dry. Um, well, there are books they do just stand they... by and kind of let things happen. All right, I'm not having this conversation because anyway. you didn't even believe in gods. It's, it's not the time and place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go kind of find the, us kind of a vampire mistress. <laughs> it kind of is the place. <laughs> I mean, what do we just take a pew for the next hour and wait for this fucking? Well, I mean, well, while we, we while the, we wait uh, for dickhead, the priest is here. No? Uh, Maybe fucking Father Donovich, and then we're looking for Irina as well, because we want to know if she's. We want to know which side of the team she's on. Mm, Irina, the, the woman that has apparently yeah, been bitten by Strahd. Yes. Whether she's like the fucking... Whether she's on his side or whether she's hiding out here to not to fuck with him, you know? No, I get... I get I'm picking on what you're putting down. I... What? Okay. I get what he's saying. Okay. He understands the train of my thought. Mm -hmm. I think we deal with whatever we're going to be doing with now. You know, we've got what, a couple of minutes to kill. No point from really, like, you know, trying to search out for people if they happen to be in here. Or some strange things are going on whilst we're here. Then, yes, we can check them out. But I don't think they should go searching just yet. We hold off a little bit. And then... We'll start having a look around. I mean, and they... they're both supposed to be here, so. Yeah, but they might not be like here, here. There might be like, you know, tunnels and catacombs and God knows, man of other buildings and places. So, we just. I think Can I just. 
I might just sit down and let Hawthorne look around and... Let's just rest up a little bit. Nothing too major. Just a little... Who's resting up in front oh, of the church? Someone, someone needed an act. Yeah. No, I'm just... I'm saying it's not worth us going in, getting ourselves into some sort of bullshit, right? And then having to deal with like three things at once. For once in our lives, let's just do it one thing at a time. <laughs> That sounds too simple. Right. Funny enough, I we are in a weird place. Feeling antsy. Well, go walk around a bit. Keep guard at the door if I stay outside. So, are you entering the church now? I'm entering the church. Okay. Yeah, I'm going in as well. As you uh, enter the church, the doors open to reveal a ten foot wide and twenty foot long hall leading into a brightly lit chapel. Uh, the hall itself is unlit and reeks of mildew. Uh, four doors, two on each side in the hall, lead to adjacent chambers. Uh, you can see that the chapel is strewn with debris. You hear a soft voice coming from within the chapel, reciting a prayer. And then suddenly, the prayer is blotted out by an inhuman scream that rises up from beneath the wooden floor. I take it that's Irina. Right. The, the inhuman scream. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> was it? What? It, was it obviously it sounded like inhuman? Did it sound mm. like a, a woman, a man? It was quite a deep, something in between. Quite a, quite a deep, raspy scream. Um, one you wouldn't necessarily associate with a with a feminine character. No. Mm. Irene, Irene has been on fucking testosterone while she's bulking. Hell yeah. Um, right. Once the, oh, the, the scream someone... ends, you still hear coming from like the chapel properly this 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 voice, kind of this almost hushed voice just reciting the same prayer over over and over again. Well, I'm gonna enter on in for the four Does it like it just goes into the chapel just yeah. straight? It's gonna go forward and just sort there's the look. two there's there's two doors on each of your yeah. sides oh, in this right. hallway. Right. That will probably like, assume it yeah. lead to adjacent rooms, but the, if you just keep going, you enter like a chapel. Oh, yeah. And that chapel properly around, is man. where the, the reciting prayers are coming from. Mm. Also, cool. very well lit up, this, the, the chapel itself. I think we'll just. Um, fuck it. And I'm just gonna keep on going forward and <laughs> just like. Yeah. As my... you uh, enter the chapel, you notice that it is in complete shambles, uh, overturned and broken. Chairs littering the dusty floor, uh, dozens of candles mounted in candlesticks and candelabras do light up every dusty corner in a fervent attempt to, to rid the chapel of any form of shadow. Um, at the far end of the church, you see a claw-scratched altar, behind which a priest is, is kneeling in soiled vestments. Uh, next to him hangs a long, thick rope that stretches up into the bell tower. I will call out to the race. Hello? Uh, hello? Um, uh, um, who? Uh, who, am I, who, who are you? F Father Don Donovich. Father Donovich. And as he says that, you can hear from beneath the chapel floor again a young man voice this time. Father? I'm starving! And he immediately just... Oh, um... I... Um, what are you doing here? What's... Um... Who... Um... Uh... Going on? Yeah. Uh... He, um... It's... And he's kind of just like... Still holding some kind of like holy iconography. And... And... It so looks tired, panicked. It's. Um, does it look of arrows, or does it look of someone? It is a yeah. holy symbol of arrows. Yeah. Make um. Here we go. <laughs> make a charisma check. Charisma. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I'll use the numbers I rolled. Do persuasion, but with advantage, because of, you know, you're getting advantage. holy iconography on you as well, right? So he'll recognize a fellow yeah. holy man. Just uh, Persuasion. Both been shot. With advantage. Uh, 18. 
I'm terribly sorry. I've it's it's been a long night. Well, it's been a long year. Uh, the, the screams just uh, paid him no mind. It is it is it is a long story, and you're safe. Uh, a little more than a year ago, my son Doru, um, several other villagers stormed the castle in an attempt of revolt, and got lured there by a but got lured in by a, a wizard in. Uh, black robes who who came to the village um, not too long ago and well my son came back but he um, he got turned into a monster and I, I, I locked him up downstairs he's, he's not being fed or anything I just I, I, I don't want to kill him I don't know what to do but he's, he's locked in and he Keep screaming that he's hungry and, it. But he's, he's not attacked anyone. He um. As long as he's down there, the town is safe. I'm safe and, he's alive. I suppose. Right. Um. Hmm. I, I, <clears throat> but that 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 that's that's none of it's it's. I'm sorry to 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 burst this on you. Um, what yeah. what are you doing here? What's going on? Um, can I help? Well, <laughs> um, we were just here to meet someone who said this is like a the meeting point for them. Um, sometimes yes. Were you meeting? Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna take the guys out. Uh, the barkeep. The barkeep. Uh, oh, Alric. Yes, he's one Alric, of the few that yep. still comes to the sermons, but... Well, ever since... The guest in the basement, um, the less and less people have shown up for the sermons, because... Well, having to listen to those screaming. screams... Turn people off. Yeah, I can... I could see how it would be, um... Uninviting yeah. during a sermon to hear ungodly screams. It's, yes. You know. Um. Uh, well, if Ulrich is meeting, did he say when? Um, you're welcome to, to oh, rest yeah. in here for a little bit and just ignore the screaming, I suppose. Yeah. You, I think, you know, just a, a sit down and a, a short rest would not hurt. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, so I'll get my packed magic slots back. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, well, um, we'll just be resting up. Uh, do you need anything at all? You know. Um, I would, I wouldn't mind a drink of water if you have any. I will give him. Yeah, I'll just give him my, my uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't think of what the fuck's called. Water, water skin. Skin. <laughs> yeah. Um... Which apparently I have two of. So. Oh. Yeah, all man. right, Mister Big Bucks. He begins, he begins sipping and. I um feel free to, to to use one of the rooms. None of them are being used right now. There's beds if you want to sit a little more comfortably. Um, the doors should be unlocked. I will stay in the like main church bit. And so it's been a while since I've been in a proper church, like proper. Well, it's not much anymore, but it's it used to be a pretty. Grand Judge Which Temples. That all changed when um when I mean the fact it's still standing in this place is probably somewhat of a testament to how grand it is, really, as yeah. uh run down. Say, how have you I have Irina to thank for that. Um she managed to convince Strahd and his his people that um Keeping some beacon of hope up in the town um, makes the subjects, as he likes to call them, a lot more docile. Um, it's not true, but Rena made it up to make sure that they stopped assaulting the church. So she's a double agent? <laughs> she 
noticed that Strahd has taken a very personal interest in her and is using it for the betterment of herself and us. He seems quite infatuated with her and, well, he's making use of that opportunity. Okay. Um. It's, it's very much the pause of like a thousand questions at once have happened yeah. in the husband's brain. And he said, like, <laughs> no, these are the time or the place, really, to be asking this shit. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot yeah. going on here. He's just like, don't know where yeah. Arena is right now. She was, she was here a couple nights ago. We, Arena is the ad adoptive daughter of the. Well, I would say the Burgomaster, but he died, but, um, you know, I guess adoptive sister of the current Burgomaster. Did um, you know anything about this person the Burgomaster's taken? Yes, that was, um, that wasn't, uh, the old Burgomaster, that's, that's, uh, that's Ismark's doing, he, um, He's just trying to get on Strahd's good side, and... Well, we don't really agree with his methods, and neither does his sister, but... He's in charge now, <laughs> so... Yeah. I don't know much of the person, all I know is that she's some kind of... It's powerful, she looks very strong. Don't quite know how... We managed to capture her unless she wanted to be captured, which I doubt. Who would want? I don't know. She, she looked strong. She, she looked like she walked the streets with purpose. Like she was, you know, she had an objective, and and and. I don't know. She had never never seen it before. None of us had really. Just like you. Where? Where? Did, where? Sorry, I I've been. Who are you? Where are you from? What are you doing here? And again, this is like, Father, I'm hungry. And these screams begin to get more and more violent as the ignoring <laughs> kind of keeps going. Well, we're <clears throat> as soon as the screams, you know, die down. Um, we're from. Is it weird to say we're from the material plane? Are we in the material? We're not in the material plane. No, so this place used to be plane. in the material plane at some point, but not anymore. Uh. From, um, well, a place called Agren, sort of. We were kind of all from all over the place. Agren. But... Can't say I've heard of that. Oh, is that the only discovered land? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that guy again. And these people have only been gone a week. <laughs> so yes, for, we, for we, you, we did, but no, no. for them. They have no right. idea, right? But if they were only, if it was a maximum of a week, mm -hmm. like surely they'd know what the new world was. Well, okay, How long listen. Ago did right? they come the here, idea the of question. of this realm in particular is like, um, it's not this. It's not that set in stone. The idea of of time spent, especially in Barovia, is, um. I think the it's matter, different. the it... matter you get, the more insane you get, the more time does its thing. It's fucking strange, and I didn't really go over okay. that properly. But it's the time spent in here, or like the time spent compared to the material plane, has to do with how cuckoo you are. Your sanity. Yeah, your sanity. And this guy, I, I feel like, like... Similar to time traveler's paradox. Yeah, it's weird, but it's like so, so you don't. It's weird. It's fucking timey wimey stuff, but like, I just like I'm he has no like, idea. The whole time I've had it in my head, I was doing slides as well. Yeah, well, they've only been gone a week, you know. Yeah, I know, like, I know, and like yeah, but you're when not did that wrong. Week occur in time, exactly. That you know, yes. What Duke means is that by the literal definition of yeah. us being told we'll only be gone a week, these people could only have been gone like like a week in our time in our timeline. 
Mm -hmm. Fucking, yeah, it's, it's if they're not from odd. our timeline, it's if they're from like odd. say a thousand years before, though, it'd no, be because back in time, if to we that if we spent gone for them, if that makes it's sense. Weird. Duke, it's weird. No, Duke was right based on the information yeah. that he had. Shut the fuck up, Siri. Yeah, yeah. No, no, opinion. it's 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 shut the fuck up, Siri. Jesus, um, God, shut the weird. fuck up, Siri. It's it's weird. It's weird. But for it him, like he TLDR, he has no idea what the fuck Agrand is. All right, they're they really got Bell, huh? Agron is a continent relatively young in its discovery, 50 years or so, something like that. No, less than that. 20 years or so, something. Ah, 20 years? Yeah, we'll say 20. I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, well, interesting. no, mate, hold on. Discovery suit, but settled recently, right? Anyway, there was a big storm and it went away and now everyone lives there. Well, a lot of people do. Someone should, someone should take over. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. Dutch. Hello. Canonically, <laughs> are these people considered... Like, are they still considered to be from the material plane? Or are they have they been here so long they're now just considered inhabitants of... of the Shadowfell? Uh... You don't like, know? Like, if they got banished, would they go back to the material plane? I... You'd have to fuck around and find out. <laughs> Time to banish right, everyone and see what happens. <laughs> well, what if they're... What about the kids? Banish them and see what happens. <laughs> if the kids or were give born them here, to the right, hive. So... Mm. That is a good question, though. Could you just banish people? I mean, probably, yeah. But the, if the kids are born here, are they, are they of the Shadowfell? Yeah, In that case, we missed. should let them all die, because there's bound to be some bad shit going on there. Some Ooh. more snacks for the hags. You can't blame them for where they were born, bro. Call it a haggy Ooh. meal. <laughs> Let's go down, down to Mickey Hags, bro. <laughs> Everything about this. Stop. Hag Donalds. Um, um, anyway... We, um, I don't remember. New land. When did this get discovered? Oh, like on the year oh, or the, the, how many years ago? Years? Nice one, idiot. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> what year was, what's the last year you remember? I don't think it works like that. I don't... I don't know. They're all a bit... brazzled. Is it the, the, the four kingdoms of Monville? Are they, is that still a thing? Yeah, over in... Wait, no. didn't one of them no. sink? Yeah, like, yeah. that's pre- that's pre-sunken kingdom. We're talking like... What, well, World how, War, how, how wait, 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 that... no, 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 no. Wait, Dutch. Hello. Was the sinking of one of the kingdom not linked to like fucking one of the like changes in ages? The sinking of the the, the that fourth kingdom uh, is was a direct like result the of, of the sundering because the sundering affected kind of like in a in diagonal upwards line, uh, and it went from you know the burning scar and but it also affected. Monveild in that the fourth kingdom that is now known as the Sunken Kingdom sank because of that. So but this that, is the Sundering started the second era, right? It's what it's what rung the uh that's what, oh, the what made the, era? the third era, yeah. The third era got so called that, in because of the Sundering and it was just such a change of the world that they were like, Okay, this is a new time. So these people are from the second era. Uh that is a conclusion you can draw here, yeah. How long? How long was the third era? Because we're thirty years into the fourth era. Ooh, f fuck. Um, hold on. What? What year was it in campaign one? Like four, four hundred and something. I want to say, but let me double check real so quick. So they they've been here at least five hundred years. Um. Some of these people are these people are like five six hundred years old minimum. Team. Uh, yeah, this, the, the Sundering happened in the 599th year of the Second Era. Um, the Third Era... Can I just see, like, when did fucking Camping 1 start? 
I don't have those notes with me right now, which is dumb and stupid. I also don't have those notes. Um, it's like 600 or 800 years in the, like the third era. Is it? I wonder if it will be on the wiki. That's what, I, that's what I'm looking right now. I need to fucking era. get all my notes back. Um. Fuck. Um. I have it written down in like several places, but. Do you know what? Laura will probably know. Laura will, would probably know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But. Um. Hold on. But they're, they're like, we're talking like 500 years. At least, like it's it's hundreds. Yeah. It's in the hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The, I don't have the exact answer for you now, uh, and I'd have to really, really start digging for it. Um, How dare I show interest in the world? No, I, I'm not giving you shit. It's just a matter of <laughs> all of the old shit was on my old PC, and I have it all in all my right, email. Laura's in chat. I have all the files in my email. I just haven't bothered downloading everything and putting it in the right place on my PC. Uh, have, Laura, can we get a year check? A quick year check, dude. Yo, quick year check. Oh, wait, year I have a year. Oh, I mean, no, I no, no, no. Not the year of current one. Year of campaign one. Where's my campaign? I want to say 400 and something. But I want to say. <laughs> anyway, they're that real. Cool they're track. like 500. Oh. Wait, old. Okay. Uh oh. This is an out of character question. Mm hmm. Oh. Her... For... Because they've been here so long. I know, obviously, they're all fucking nutso now, but has time passed for them? Like, has 500 years passed for them, and they're all just fucking fruit loopy? He doesn't seem all there, that's for sure. But then again... Well, no, none of them are all there. They wouldn't be if they'd been lot, alive uh, for 500 years. A lot happened, and, you know, he just admitted that his own son has been turned into some kind of monster and is being is locked in his basement right now. So he's got a lot going on, you know? <laughs> this this happened pre-Jax. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. This is oh, pre-Jax. Fuck, it's ancient. Wait, it what's pre-Jax? These the, people are like older this, than you. Uh, yeah, Barovia of course, dude. Transport. I'm not that old, okay? Jax, how old's Jax? 300. It's like 307? Yeah, this is pre-Jax. This is the only thing in campaign so far. Yeah, I don't know why that's that surprising. Because everything else in our world, every city we've been to on the new continent, is younger than Jax. Oh my gosh, Mormon's pre Jax too. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, anyway. You're gonna stop saying pre Jax, because I don't. <laughs> I prefer my post Jax. I um, think it means. Anyway. Yeah, I prefer post Jax campaign. Uh, what are you guys all kind of doing uh, while you're. I prefer to. Can I? Uh, I'm just gonna time. be. Can I sort of pull a Lazarin aside? Right, right, right. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Can we? This guy seems a little. How much do we trust him? You're the Zero. holy man. I mean, can I roll a the... trust check? The other. <laughs> Flip a... That's just a few flipping a coin. It's a D two. <laughs> Flip a coin. It's fifty. Um, I mean, the guy who didn't really have—I, you know, you know I got, I've got decent read on people. I can sort of get people to tell us. He seems like he would just give information for money. Had no allegiances. He said this person was, uh, if anything, against Strad. So he might not be trustworthy. Of he has his own agenda, but he's not untrustworthy in that he's going to turn us into whatever the fuck is going on here. I think we can... Well, he might feed us to his son. I... I mean, yeah. I don't yeah. think... I don't think he'd run the risk of uh, yeah. us killing his son. Campaign 1 ended in the 756th year of the Third Era. So this is... We're talking like thousands... <laughs> Sorry. No, no, we're Several talking thousands. This has been a minimum no, no, of eight hundred years ago for them, like for the, this at least eight hundred years. 
Yeah, that means but, there's a very big possibility that it's a set of thousand. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Well, no, because it's anywhere in the second era. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, no, sorry, the first era. Uh, no, in the second. End of second, second was the Sun Ring. So anywhere before the Sun Ring, yeah. You yeah, know, so you don't know whether it was in the first or the second era, but it pre Sun Ring. We've got thirty is when years plus seven fifty. So seven hundred. We don't even know where Barovia was pre. Like it has to be over seven hundred eighty-six years. Yes. Should you want to be a really good barometer for that? Roughly a thousand years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly eight hundred years ago. Roughly three jaxes ago. All right, we got the copy pass though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just um, someone um, had emojis dump of the Sun nice. Ring. But yeah, so oh, yeah. it's a, at least seven hundred eighty-six years ago. At least. I will. Anyway, I will. So, I mean, do we go chat with the, the hungry, the hungry son? And I don't think we go. I don't think he'll let us near, just in case we do kill him. Because what? like, well, we have such delicious pies to give him. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, shut the he fuck up! This is a sidebar. He <laughs> won't eat pies if he's a. Never mind. We saying you think he might be a you know. Vampire. I mean, well then, I mean, I I don't think he's a hag. The okay, werewolves well, we met weren't shouting about being hungry. Why else would you keep some? I mean, fuck knows. There is like a billion things he could be. You're the yeah, you're the powers are bad. You you lot all figure out what things are. I figure out whether or not to hit them. You guys can figure it out. You are not funny, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you as you as you're saying, uh, as you're discussing this, you hear another. You, the ground begins to shake a little bit, and you just hear, "Father, I can smell your guests." Just and he's like, sh the ground shakes a little bit, and it stops again. So, about that son of yours. He won't do anything. He's he's locked down there. He can't. He 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 can't get out. You wanna you wanna maybe tell us what happened? He, like I said, he went to the castle to try and lead some kind of revolt, and came back a monster. And I've what yeah, type no, of the, monster? You told us that bit. You didn't tell us. The blood-sucking kind. He's one of them now. Ah, that's a... Uh, I have not fed ridiculous. him once. He's not been fed since he got locked in there, so... I, I just... I him? don't want to kill him. I, I can't. It's... But he's locked I'm down there. Probably... He's, he's not a threat. He, he won't get out. He's... He's my burden. To when it there. comes to things like this... The other holy man in the room is probably much more of an authority than I. But if it was me, I wouldn't want to live like that. Oh, okay, but you're against the pie children dying. Yeah, I'm against I'm against children being eaten. And I'm against but also, me what living about as a vampire. Like this, you know? Pie children? Long story. Long story. It's a, well, it's not a very long story, but if you don't know, then you don't need to know. Davian's um, being a shitbag and arguing semantics over dumb shit. You don't know what semantics means. <laughs> Every time we go to some shit hotel, we get into semantics. So you don't. You listen. I don't want to get into semantics, but you don't know what semantics means. I'm putting my. You know what? Bell got it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> You get into some antics, is the joke he made. It's very funny. But, but you keep talking about getting into semantics, and I'm just, let's not get into the semantics of semantics of semantics. Does anyone anyway, have father? any objections if I go find something heavy to lob at his head? Yes. Take that rope and the uh, belt, you know what I'm saying? Um. um. I mean. Can I try and stealth off from the group? What, right in front of everyone? You're just going to go it, it yep. disappear into thin air? Yep. 
I can still take like, a disadvantage as you're in a super you are literally lit room, brightly lit. standing next to me. <laughs> yeah, literally, I'm just gonna start slowly backing away from the group. If anything, you won't be standing in front of me. <laughs> I'm just watching. Uh, make a stealth check with like, disadvantage. I'm, I'm gonna. T I feel like I should clarify. I'm gonna take my time to slowly back away from the group and then make a stealth check with disadvantage. That's not horrific. Uh, that's a uh, eighteen. My passive perception is 18. My passive perception is 23. Yeah, but is Kess really going <laughs> to call me out on it? Also, meets beats, fuck you. Yeah, um, meets beats ass. So you're the one making, <laughs> you're the one scurrying away. I'm the one beat, see you. No, Am I not rolling? Uh, see, because you're not rolling. So am I trying to beat your passive perception? I'd say you are trying, passive? no, I'd say that Beanie is trying mm. to beat your passive. Therefore, Beanie meets, so he beats. Technically. So it's only Kess that knows just, that I'm sneaking but, away. Uh, Kess... How much beat? How much meat is being beaten here? I, I don't. How much meat? Kess, you notice oh, Brooks kind of uh, scurrying off, and um, Brooks, you notice that um, Father Donovich is also not breaking eye contact with you. <laughs> if he notices, then I won't bother. He's just like, like just looking gonna... at, at the priest, and he's just like. <laughs> I, I, um, no, like if I notice that he's noticed me, then I'm just gonna continue as if I was trying to like go look around the room a little, sure, 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 and sure, not sure. like I'll 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 pretend that everything's fine. I'll be deceptive, maybe. I um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have the heart to kill him. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be in good. I. I just don't want him to hurt anyone else. He's not being fed. He's stuck down there. He's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, at that point, the doors, the main doors to the church, swing open again, and uh, quickly close. As you see, this hooded individual coming in, uh, and as he gets closer, he lowers his hood, and you recognize him to be the barkeep from the tavern. Day, Father. Um, hello. And uh, let's right. take a break here, and then we'll get Laura back in after the break, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll get into some space antics. Um, <laughs> be right back, y'all. Some space antics. Yes. We're going to the moon, boys. <laughs>
the cake. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh. Cake check. Everybody, welcome Laura to the show. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Laura was like, I'm going to miss two sessions. In reality, she's missed like half of one. Half, half of one. I'm very yeah. excited about look that. that. Look at lie. that. Uh, I can't wait for Laura to not roll a dice. We should be so fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I show up and then nothing happens. <laughs> I jinxed um, So yeah, let's uh, pick it back up. You guys are still in the church. Um, the barkeep, um, which you now know is named Alric. Uh, as the uh, priest uh, mentioned to you, has entered. Uh, so you're currently still sitting in this lit up chapel, accompanied by both uh, Father uh, Donovich and um, Alric the barkeep. Uh, you still hear these like screams coming from under the wooden floor. Just, just this, this, this maniacal screaming. Stating that that he's thirsty, he's hungry, and every time it happens, Father uh, Donovich kind of shudders and tightens his grip on his holy symbol a little bit more. Ooh. And Alric, as that happens, kind of states, oh, "So you have not dealt with that vermin yet, Father?" <laughs> and and it's a bit rough. the priest just kind of ignores it. Well. Let's just say that I don't like life in this town is already dreary as it is, but um, knowing that there's a bloodthirsty vampire trapped in the basement of the chapel doesn't really add to the comfort. You um, excuse me for the um, mysterious behavior at the tavern. We were those three people were part of the uh, the Visanti, um Strads, spies all over the realm, and let's just say that if I mention anything that isn't drink orders, um, they'll report it to Strad. So I did not want to discuss anything in there. Yeah. Just hypothetically, right? Hmm? <laughs> just for future reference. <laughs> if we were to, like, attack and kill them, <sighs> would Strad know? Or would he just be like, he's got so many different spies, he just not report his bag, nothing must have happened? Well, if no one is there to witness it, but at some point, they're expected to report back, and if they don't, that's when alarm bells will get raised. They'll... I don't think there are too many. Yeah, probably. Okay. Needs must. You, you mentioned uh, that you needed something from me, if I remember correctly. Um... What, what yes. can I, I, you don't seem like the typical native, um, so I'm willing to hear you out, um, what, what can I do for you? Um, we were yeah. told that you might have a map of the area. Yes, uh, of the, of the, of the region, yes, um, mm. I do. It would um, come in quite handy for us to have, so we can plan our travels and when people mention places to us and sort of assume that we know where they are we don't have a fucking clue what is your goal here well we've got a few things there's a sort of running list as it were um i think the you're looking to join you know the better looking to join the march of the dead are we no. No, God, no. Um, Similar goal, though, I assume. Going against his wishes, at least. We're... We're here to see a friend's brother. Yeah, we're here to try and maybe rescue a friend's brother. If that happens to mean that we have to go against the full wishes of Strahd and whatever he's doing, we might have to take him down. So be it. However... Mm. We don't know yet. Well, We've got some bits in place. Don't know you, As don't a, trust you, but the enemy of my enemy, I suppose. It's a dynamic rolling plan, is what they say. You know, mm. it's there's a lot of moving parts. We don't fully know what we're getting ourselves into just yet. As you're saying that, I just sign in sign language, sign to Kess. I've just got a really bad idea. I'll tell you later. 
excellent. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to answer to give you my map. Um, it's, it's no use to me anyway. I'm just gonna have it, but I don't really leave Rovia anymore, so. And he'll undo, like, the flap of his pouch. Uh, he has, like, a small little bag, like, kind of like a satchel kind of hanging on his side, and hands you his rolled up. Um, aged piece of uh, parchment. Oh, and he gives you... Cards. Hold, let me uh, send it to you. Is this the, the father giving us the map? No, this no. is the barkeep. Uh, or... oh. Why don't you post it in the, like, spoiler talk section of the Discord, and viewers can also look at the map to, like, follow along if they yeah, want. Yeah, I can do. Hold on, give me a second. I'm a map. I'm a map. And then if, since Howdy. it's in the spoiler section, if anyone hasn't caught up yet, like, Bowdy or something, they're not gonna click on it. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll chuck it in our DMs for now, and then I'll do that after. We can put it there later, yeah. He hands you this map. How are we spelling the innkeeper's name? Sorry? How are we spelling the innkeeper's uh, name? A-L-R-I-K. Oh, I K? Dang it, I put a C. Yeah. Like Warwick. And you can now see, you also got told about some uh, locations mm -hmm. of the Vasanti camps. One of them was mentioned to be... Uh, it's marked on your map already. It's the encampment next to the Tsur Pool. And mm -hmm. there is another encampment uh, that they mentioned outside Valaki. That one isn't uh, marked on your map, I don't think. But uh, you can see Valaki is this like bigger town, um, kind of slap bang yeah. in the middle. Yeah. I'm assuming those like cliff sides next to Ravenloft are not scalable. No, these are yeah, cliffs that mind. are basically the church arc is kind of like in the in the cliff itself almost you can see oh. the the map doesn't do it justice but castle ravenloft is basically kind of like leaning over the town of barovia at all times um yeah, that's unscalable you have to go all the way around to get there properly is it but... like that like fucking random like is it new, new switchenstein that like random like castle that's just in a fucking like they were built really recently in the 1900s and it's just in the middle of fucking nowhere <laughs> for no <laughs> reason i guess yeah um, so cool. But there's a lot of places uh, marked on this map. Uh, it definitely seems ho homemade. Uh, it seems that the barkeep himself has just kind of like mapped as much of the province as he knows. Uh, you can also see all bone grinder on it, uh, which got mentioned to you by the hag that you met. Yeah. Um, a lot of places. Uh, some of the places you needed to go to if you were to go find these things are also there. You can see, for instance, the Berez ruins got mentioned to you, um, among other things. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite... It has a lot of things, a lot of points of interest um, already put on the map for you, essentially. All right, um... Well, there you go. Um, don't expect it back. It's fine. Um, not like I'm using it anyway. So, if you don't mind me asking, what's what's next for you? Murder. Well, <laughs> oh. uh, well, right. Um. <laughs> I feel like we've got a lot of shit to figure out. That, well, um, the, the prisoner good. that got taken not too long ago, she with you? No, she but, no, she but our goals might, might align. Alright. What did this prisoner look like? Hmm? What, are they uh, what, what did the prisoner look like? It sounds like you see her. Um, only got a, a, a quick look of her. She was... Elven to, to some description, uh, but a very pale skin, dark eyes, dark hair. Um, wearing a uh, iconography of the Raven Queen. You. Planning on freeing her, or...? Well, I don't think I totally decided to do that. Right. And again, 
as you're sitting there, just, again, this is... Ground begins to shake. Father! I'm hungry! It's constantly Father! on repeat. Just imagine the, like, you know the, the Kenobi scream! Like, it's like that, but it's just, it's father instead of Kenobi, essentially, yeah. <clears throat> Makes me think of IT crowd, that's all. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And and Father Donovich again grips his holy symbol and just begins reciting this 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 prayer over and over again. Are you sure you don't want us to take care of that for you? They kind of like at the same time, Father the Father says no, but the the bar keeps yes like at the exact same time. Uh, I I hate to be selfish but we we have limited resources for dealing with vampires and we might kind of need them for later did we technically get a short rest here dutch uh yeah sure oh do i have any reason does a short rest, rest do anything for me yeah it does i get monk chip back right you get your key points back now i get my key points you get key points back i'm gonna yeah you get your key points back <laughs> did you know you get your key points back with a short I rest, I believe, monks, I believe monks might be able to get their... I need to get the spell slots back, too. I'm going to spend my key points beating a Lazarin into a pulp. Why is it me? <laughs> Why am I going to get in the fucking beat to death? Easy, fuck? ta easy target. True. Oh, I'm going AC of 20. I'm going AC of 20 now. Fuck you. Oh, AC, dude. That's fine. Yeah, to you. Just, it's fine. Yeah, if someone so else, like, attacks me and misses, I can just spend a key I point and hit works. you. Cries in AC 13. And uh, this kind of like this like <laughs> argument kind of breaks out, and you basically you're kind of like just ping ponging argument about whether or not it's better for everyone in the town to kill the vampire in I the basement. Will or not. In it's like when your parents fight whether you should be in sports or not. <laughs> I will sort of put my hand on the on the father's like shoulder hmm? and just say. I know it is tough, but you know that is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It wasn't your son the second he came back. I know, it's just... You don't have to be the one who does it. We can take care of it. Fucking hell, Elijah. But... <laughs> I mean... Make, I a, make a persuasion check. Uh, I okay. rattle the bandolier of stakes around my fucking chest. I mean, you know, we've got it covered if you need it done, you know. Uh, <laughs> persuasion? Yeah. Uh, 18. Savage. Fine. Fine. Just... Don't oh, words. Just make sure it's quick, please. Have you looked into curing them all? We already oh, had no, this no. discussion about curing vampires and it being impossible, right? Yeah, curing vampires. All right. Like... They're, they're, they're fucking they're dead. Let's go. <sighs> you'll, you'll find <laughs> the entrance to the undercroft in one of the side rooms. Um, Trapdoor. It's it's locked and I have a key. key. And he takes a key out of his pocket and hands it to you, Elazarin. Oh no. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe Ulrich should take the father for a okay. drink. I've, I'll get killed if they see me roaming the streets with him. I'm not taking him anyway. Yeah, Judge bad. Priest bad. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you're carrying around a small drinks cabinet at this point, Brooks. You could always just give him something. And... I didn't. I wasn't specifically to get him drunk. I thought maybe he might not want to be present for this. We yeah, have pie. Right. I'm just saying they don't. They don't oh need to go God. to the bar to have a drink, right? They could go out in the church. I don't, yard. Think, I don't think he needs a drink. I think he needs to not be here. No, I think he could use a drink. Just no, in this town, he could pie. definitely use of a drink. The one that isn't watered <sighs> down. If pie is what's your, you what's met, your poison, you met, father? You met, you met the hags then. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying, because the ale's shit, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't yeah. drink, really, but I uh, suppose... I think you should. 
<sighs> what if, whatever you have, I don't. Now, do we think this man's a wine man, or a mead man, or an ale man? Or I, I think he's whatever has man. the highest alcohol content. I could give, give him a, uh, the Lusty Dragon Ball Maid book. <laughs> I don't I think, think he needs smut right now. It's probably published, yeah. published way out. Like, he'll, he'll, re he'll read the publishing date and, like, have a heart attack. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll read the fucking, how like, it. bottling date. We'll put a really good vintage wine and it'll still be... <laughs> True. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is a very good year. This is fifty years old, and it's still thousands of years older than he, uh, younger than he is. <laughs> yeah, you know, true. it's like, it's like three jacks. Dude, there's probably some communion wine in this church that was bottled like millennia, you know, two millennia to us. Yeah, I could get him high. What kind of? Oh, we decided he's drinking. I. Will. This is out of. How did Brooks? How did Brooks go from like? He doesn't need a drink, he just needs to get off, you know, away to, I could get him fucking high, I could give him some crack, I could give him some that wine, wasn't out I could of give him a little bit sentence. of mead. Like, Brooks, Brooks is turning into a demon. I know, I know, I know. I'm just like, what's your thought process here? Because at first you're like, no, I'm not telling him to go to the tavern for a drink, just to go away. My thought process like, was, <laughs> he should not be here to listen to this. Yeah. But then yeah. it's been pointed yeah. out that if he roams the streets, he'll get fucking shanked. So, Dude, I am. he's I like... drive so many stakes into this fucking vampire. <laughs> He's like me. me too, me too. Um, fuck. Uh, what is it about? I will, I will about... give him mm -hmm. a snowdrift, a pre-bottled, pre-mixed snowdrift. Alric Which kind of is... like his eyes kind of widen. Wouldn't mind sharing that, right, Father? I mean, <laughs> I had nothing. I'll fucking, to... I'll give one of him to uh, as well. Oh, that's bloody lovely. Uh, Snowdrift is do, nothing do, 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 but watered down I... ale and wine for as long as I can remember. And you're like, whoop. He's drinking. Oh, that's the good stuff. Uh, oh, Father, let's uh, have a seat. Let's, uh, you can recite me one of your blasted whatever it is. Right. Versus. Snowdrift's the like proper, like warming, like winter fucking liqueur. And uh, Alric and the priest kind of move over, tip over one of the seats and kind of sit in it and... The bartender and the priest are lovers. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. remember that song? Uh, so yeah, you have the key. Uh, he didn't tell you exactly what room it was in, but he handed you a key. Uh, I sort of said like roughly right, pointing in the general direction. Yeah, he said, he just said one of the side rooms. That like well, hallway that you came from. I'm sure we. I'm sure we'll hear him. Yeah. Well then, I think there's no time like the present. Let's go get some uh, practice, in, shall we? I don't suppose there's any silver in this church. Uh no, this church has been completely ransacked, pretty much. Fuck. I've only got. I've got silver tip bolts. I've got fucking. Who needs silver? Yeah, no, no, no. Like no I've only got God. one fucking. I've only got a one God. thing of holy oil left. We have taken this. Screw the rules! I have money. <laughs> That's literally your God. <laughs> True. Yeah. And money makes the world go round, baby. <laughs> and now the world's flat. Money makes. The world I go start flat. to search for the trapdoor. Alright, uh, yeah, so there's four doors, the essentially, that are in separate rooms. Which one do you pick? Can we wait uh, till we hear uh, him scream the again? the north one. Northeast or west? Can I roll a d4? North, east. Okay. As you open up the east northeastern side, door, uh, you enter a room that has an old desk and chair standing against the southern wall, a wooden holy symbol mounted above them, um... A ten-foot-long iron rod attached to the north wall stands bare, suggesting a tapestry once hung here. Um, and against the far wall stands a wooden cabinet with four tall doors. Want to rob a church? <laughs> and try the northwest one, I guess. Sorry? Uh, I'll I'll close the door and okay. try the northwest one. Uh, this dirty room contains a wooden bed with a straw-filled mattress next to 
next to which a small table rests with an oil lamp burning brightly on it. Um, mounted above the bed's headboard is a wooden sun-shaped holy symbol. Just gonna slowly close the door on that one, too. Yep. Uh, it's not either of these rooms. I'll go to one of the other ones. Left or right? Uh, right. Um, as you open this door, you can definitely see that uh, time and neglect have, have punched holes in the ceiling of this room. It reeks of mold. Um, there are a few broken roof shingles amid some puddles of water on the floor here. Um, but in one corner, you do see set into the floor is a heavy wooden trapdoor held shut with a chain and a padlock. And you can hear a young man's screams of anguish heard throughout the, the, the floor here. And through the wooden oh, trap door. I think we found it. Lovely. I'll leave Arnold up here. Well, I'm going to so... send Hawthorne to the vessel. <laughs> so he doesn't okay. die again. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <clears throat> so, so just as a, just as a rundown. You know, what a, what what fucks these things up. Um, holy silver, radiant holy things, radiant um, magic, light of the sun. Okay, I can't do that. Carry on. Well, I can. <laughs> um, things were still. I tell you what, then. Why don't you go in there, and the rest of us will wait out here. No, I want to try a new spell. Um, I will. Gutch, can I see through the floorboards at all? Uh, like, no. They're off? very tightly no, together. Pretty... There's no real. Yeah, I thought they're open. Fine, then I will. Hmm. I'll call. Well, I'll call down. To the voice. <laughs> okay. Could I assume? This trapdoor might have, like, steps, is what I'm assuming, but I don't know. That is a save or something, will... as that is typically what is yeah, be I... beneath a trapdoor, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So that is a safe assumption yeah, to make, Koba. Be... Yeah. It, just... it could be a ladder. It could, it could just be a hole, right? It could just be a hole in the floor, right? You never know. Like, just pit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh. pit. And I just go down, it's like, trap. stay. We're going to come feed you. Stay away from the door so we can get in. Make a deception check. Uh, he was chained you know how hungry. Up. Oh god! Can I load to? Can I load a silver bolt into it? Ten. Yeah, of course. Big old ten. It's massive. Uh, you hear no movement or anything. You hear nothing. Oh, no, sorry. You said it's a deception check. Yeah. Sorry. Seven. <laughs> Same response. Same response. <laughs> Maybe I should go first. Well, excellent idea, and I will back up, <laughs> and <laughs> okay. I'll pass. I will pass. I'm like, is the key? How long does that last? Have like fun. how quickly a Lazarin handed that to me, but okay. <laughs> You're the one who said let's go first. <laughs> so I was happy to go in. I was just trying to be polite, man. You know, go okay. offer things you don't want. <laughs> Does anyone other than me have holy oil or holy water or No. Nope. Cuz I could yeah. really I could really do with some holy oil. No, cuz I real I real for gore to actually do that process. I got the oil. I've we got like the oil. We need silver for it. That's what I keep yeah. looking for fucking silver for. Well, I've got it, silver. It, I've got it was more of a. I've got water. It when we did like our shopping episode. We need powdered silver. I forgot. We can powder, powder silver. silver. Jax can powder silver, surely. Yeah, but not off the cuff oh, yeah. on, the, on a whim now. You know what I mean? No, yeah. like we need silver and then. And then Jax can sit down and I mean, fucking I do have powder. a jeweler's kit, so potentially. But I don't know that I also that's have... included in a jewelry. Um, yeah. alright, I'm gonna insert the key, mm -hmm. uh, step, open up trap door and step on in. Right. as you step in, make a perception check, with this advantage. Uh oh. 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 
I'm assuming it's been like four hours since we actually got here, right? I pulled mm -hmm. uh, It's been like more like two. Two? Okay, cool. Like since you uh, oh, went to the tavern, about two hours. That's one hour too many for me to uh, for you guys to be able to see. <laughs> Yo, so fourteen. Fourteen. If you need to, I can make light. And anytime. if it matters, I do not have dark vision. You, uh, I have a lantern. You look into the the dark chamber. Um, hold on. And what you see is um, that this the, the church's undercroft has rough hewn walls and a floor made of damp clay and earth. Rotting wooden pillars strain under the weight of the wooden ceiling. Uh, candlelight from a chapel above s does slip through some of the cracks, um, allowing you to glimpse at a gaunt shape in the far corner. As we walk in, or like open up the door and everything, mm -hmm. um, just kind of reach into the, like into my shirt, pull out my uh, tears of Kosuth and like a chain Ooh. with a little symbol of the Wild Mother hanging on it. Okay. Just, <laughs> Just hanging in front. If it's real dark down here, I'll go ahead and just start, because I can still do it even though I'm in my body. I'll just, via the drift globe, not even so much my ghostliness that I can do, I'll just start emitting light from my body and cast the light spell just from maybe, me. Maybe you want to leave your body upstairs. I really think that would freak them out right now. Or They're or upstairs, upstairs. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the top of this hatch. A hundred ghosts walk the streets every night. I don't think they'll be too worried. I have an idea about that later, but that's that's for another time. Uh, anyway, um, we're in like this trap doors in like a separate room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll, I guess I'll go back upstairs while they're all downstairs and leave. And now I'll still be go glowing with that thing, but now it's ghost me that is emitting light. Yeah, and as you kind of like light up the room uh, with your just your ghostly. Uh, uh, it's a combination Figure. of ghost, like the blue spectral ghost light, but then the warm yellow of the drift globe spell. It's a weird like. Are you are you activating the drift globe? Yeah. As you do that, the the, the room does light, light up I'm not using uh, properly, and you just hear this very <laughs> loud hiss as this 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 individual this shape just very quickly, almost in a blink of an eye, you miss it. Is in one corner of the room and then dashes okay. to the other corner of the room to kind of get away from the light and. I can smell your blood. Haha, <sighs> uh, jokes on you, I don't have any. As I go down the stairs, I'm gonna yeah. kind of like hold my shield out in front of me. Like, why just like other gauntlets like kind of like hanging off the side? Just, just stay there, we're just trying to help you. I'm staying back, I want to stay at the back of the group, enough that my light is still letting them see, but I don't want to get too close to the thing. I'm getting... Jax, make a deception check. So. Vampire, vampire. I am so deceptive, I can't even read my own dice. <laughs> um, it's not deception. Uh, 21. 21. 21. As you approach, and this drift globe's not lighting up the room, a lot better, you can see that the shape is of a, a, a humanoid uh, man, longer black hair, uh, skin completely gray, and he just darts his face darts towards you you can see these like bloodshot red eyes and he's just hissing and this these, these large fangs appear he's wearing these like raggedy uh, this raggedy shirt and raggedy pants barely like barely being kept together help me how i'm hungry where are we going to make it so that you yeah, what was that? Like half of your fucking uh so close, so close fucking real Mike player. dude has been fucking up all weekend. <laughs> fuck. What the okay, fuck? Hopefully that's better. I just turned up my gain a little bit. <laughs> <I'm Carol. laughs> or we can help you not be so hungry if you like. To feed me. Well, it depends. We need you to ask, answer a question first. Uh-oh. Kind of like glances at everyone in the group. What do you want to know? How did Strahd do this to you? He... He... I don't 
remember. <laughs> oh, I was ah! <laughs> I just remember waking up very hungry, famished, and I came here. You wanted me to tear down the church and torment my father. I'm so hungry. Maybe you okay. should do I guess. I'm gonna slip my hand in my bag and like, why don't I have something that's going to help that? Pulls out uh -oh. the block. <laughs> and I'm gonna pull out a vial of alchemist's fire and throw it at him. Oh! That burns down the whole ass church. Make a, I also make a, don't know. That's, a, that's an attack roll, right? Is that a deck saving throw? Yes, yes it is. I Something don't remember sick. if fire fucks vampires up in d d It does in VTM. It does in many vampire... Yeah, but D&D be D&D. &D. Yeah. Thank God I rolled okay. Mm -hmm. Um, 16? 16... No misses. Whoa! As, you, as no. you throw the vial, he instantly just dashes to the other corner of the room, just ah, hisses at you, and you can see the fire kind of just like... But luckily, the floor oh is made of this like damp clay, so it doesn't yeah, spread anywhere. Fine. But there's a small puddle of just like fire in the corner. I would like you all to roll initiative. Ooh, well, I tried, well. guys. I, I, oops. You did try. Oh, I rolled good initiative. Let's go. I rolled in that one. Let's go. Let's go. Yay. Yeah, he's still gonna go On before me. Die? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should rolled America's ass, bro. Uh, yeah, that would have been better. Oh well. <laughs> America's ass is always better. When in doubt, always choose America's ass. Absolutely. There's never a bad time. All right, initiative 20 plus. Me! Oh, go on. I'm 21! Not... What's your dex? Right. Plus oh, like right. Is that 17? the first time you've ever had an over 20 initiative? Uh, 17? Yeah. Even when I was a monk. Yeah, my dex is 17 okay. and my roll was 21. Okay. Uh, anyone else 20 plus? Nope. 15 to 20? 19. <laughs> oh, wow. Give it up. Give it up. Anyone else? Baby, give it up. <laughs> 10 to 15? Mm. 14. 14. Oh, 2. 11. Oh. 11. <laughs> That's 2. Uh, anyone else? Oh, this is not looking good for us. Oh, 5, five to 10? I got a nine. Oh. Davian is a nine. What's your roll, yeah. uh, uh, Jax? Three. <laughs> three? Yep. Uh, what about Ono? Big, big old, big old three. Ono goes on uh, Davian's turn. Oh. Yeah, but Hawthorne doesn't. Hawthorne's also upstairs, isn't he? Two Hawthorne's upstairs. in the vessel. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, God. Daigo. Oh, my God, Jesus. And how's that cake? Fi How's that cake feeling, my dude? <laughs> what has happened? What did I miss? What happened? I, I think he's dies. dying. He's <laughs> having a stroke on stream. That's because there's like 2,500 calories worth of cake sat in the bottom of his stomach. Here's the thing: it's not the cake. I drank some water. It went down the wrong way, and it's just like oh. I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> the water that killed me is the cake. Ah! <laughs> All right, <laughs> Dagon, you can see <laughs> this, this 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 yeah, this no. vampire dash at like inhuman speeds. And it's just hissing oh, no. at the group. Like again, this like pale gray skin, bloodshot red eyes, and just these, this 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 mouth full of sharp fangs. And um, what do you do? I have a question. I'll probably have an answer. This is probably. I'm assuming the answer is no, mm -hmm. but I I have to try. Vampires are are technically dead, correct? Mm, undead, yes. Okay, because my pervade the fallen, my ability to possess a dead body. Because mm -hmm. if I possess a dead body, it then says that is towards uh, the corpse that, but, has one AP when I possess the body. And it's right yeah, but that is because a corpse oh. is a object, not a creature. Okay, so he's he's not a corpse because undead's like a middle ground. He's not. Yeah, okay. like are you? You're you're a person. Bagan is a person, right? Still, even though she's undead. Yeah. 
Her I'm, body isn't, but it's, it's the difference that. between the the spirit yeah, 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 is undead, yeah. the body's an object. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. exactly. Anyway. But this is Never for mind, all this manner of rulings. This is very much still a creature. No, um, no, 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 no it chooses my body as an object. Okay. You wish. Who's the closest? Who's the closest to the dude right now? Is it Jax? Because Jax was talking um, to him. Well, he dashed right, so he dashed to the opposite corner, like the corner where he oh. initially was. Mm. Um. So I don't think it matters too, too much. I think you're all kind of... As, if you all step foot in this chamber, like down the steps, you're all kind of... It's not big in the chamber, by the way. It's no? not like, big oh, at yeah. all. It's like it's like a, uh, like a 40 by 40 feet space. Like, it's not very, very big. I'm going to assume he's going to be the most hostile towards Jax, because Jax lied to him and tried to kill him. So I will <laughs> bonus action uh, hit, hit, hitchhike in Jax's body. If, if he wants to make a save, he can <laughs> against him. All right, and then for my action, um, oh, I think I don't. I'm not sure what Jax will attack with yet, so I won't use my, my invoke. Yes, so my on you, you. I don't. I don't know what to do. Whereas I know I've seen Brooks do it time and time again. So just in case, so I'm in Jax's body, but then I'll use my invoke smite and like before Brooks will recognize the glow his brass knuckles get, and that's my turn. Ready. Oh, now... it, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, before I commit oh. to that, it would get real dark in here if I did that. No. We can say that your drift globe is still okay. vibing, right? No, no, no she's the drift globe. Wait, you are the drift globe, yeah, fuck! I forgot, well, it, it'll, it'll, Laura, it'll get a lot less light. Laura, Laura, it's, it's, it, it's gonna be totally fine, buddy. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> it's about to get real bright in here. I was gonna say, I could, I could also just... As I go, the other thing I could do is I could go in Jax's body, but then use my action to up the drift globe from light to my one charge of daylight and make it real fucking bright in here, and he'd be real bad. No, I think I think Elazarin's trying into. Yeah. So I'll. He's I'll gonna, he's gonna, gonna, gonna sprinkle it. some powder and go. I can so see it'll clearly get, now. It'll get a, it'll get a bit darker for everyone, but there'll be now a glow from Brooks's hands in the room <laughs> as I disappear okay. into Jax's body. Uh, it is now the vampire's turn. I and he Don't darts. He's a and, he's, and he's mad at Jax. He Don't darts back towards uh, towards Jax. Okay, it's now Duro's turn. My bad. You didn't. Know, you didn't have to throw some <laughs> Um And he first swings one of his sharp claws at you and tries to just like tries to just slash your throat open. Uh, right. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Oh. He's 22 or something, I think, Jax. 23. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> um, and he then immediately goes to try and bite you as well. Ooh. Hot. Natural 19 <laughs> plus 6, 25 to hit. Yeah, that we're that's oh, how we're talking. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to silvery bobs that. As he, well, no, wait. Uh, instead, as he bites Jax, um, mm -hmm. you feel the, the, the impact doesn't feel as intense as it maybe might, and I will use my obfuscate reaction, uh, because I'm in your body to half the damage. Oh no, it, it, it'll be half damage for you and a quarter damage for me because okay. I'm in your body. Shit, all right. It's good to, good to know. Yeah. Um, okay, so half damage for Jax, so that is, you take three points of piercing damage, Jax, it's already halved. And? So I would take what, one, because I corner yeah. all the damage. <laughs> okay. And you take... Eight, so four points in necrotic damage, and you two. So that's two. And the necrotic damage you both took. Uh, okay. Your hit point maximum is reduced by that. So your hit point maximum so is reduced by four. So if I'm getting Jax. hit on temp HP, would that not reduce my hit point maximum then? Uh, no, it wouldn't, right? Or would it? Okay. Cool. Um, I don't know. I don't think it does. No, because temp HP technically isn't you taking damage. You know what I mean? It's like it's kind of like this. So yeah, yeah. no. So you're yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. Uh, Daigon, if uh, if you don't have temp HP, yeah. your hit point maximum is reduced. I do not. So yeah, my hit point max went from forty-two to forty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why I have like obfuscate and divine barrier and things yeah, to try no, and just, protect myself. I, I'm squishy. I didn't realize how much health you had. Not a lot. Laszlo. <laughs> I will cast daylight. There you go. Uh, in the back corner, in the corner of the room behind us, so we're not looking straight into the fucking daylight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's smart. It, it is, that. it will be a 60 foot radius sphere of light. That so the entire out room would just. So, like, the sun is now here. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um, as okay. a point of order. Uh, I, I will do a. Everybody turn around! <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> As a point of order, we might be done. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, good. Sage advice. Uh, sage advice. Uh, even with temp HP, your max HP is still lowered by the oh, full amount. There you go. I guess it's just one. It's one of the very few things it just kind of ignores temp HP. Yeah. Then. So like, the if you have five temp HP, goes right to your but shit. took ten damage, your health would still drop by ten, and you'd lose your temp HP. Yeah. Gross. All right, so yeah, Jax, you still you still have four less max HP now in that case. Uh, I will. I that's what actually did more damage to me. Though. I guess so because you were max, so technically it did more damage to you. Yeah, I got fucked. <laughs> <That's> fucked. <laughs> All right, so you cast daylight. This, 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 the entire room is just filled with the light of the sun. Um, anything else you want to do, uh, Quips? Just double checking. If there's anything else I can do? I don't think. Does so. it take direct it... damage from it? No, there's no. It's not the sunburst. Is the uh, yeah. Or uh, it's something. It's more just it makes it easy for you to yeah. see, and he'll be very uncomfortable. And may who knows? Yeah. Maybe he'll have disadvantage or something on rolls because he's like. Yeah. Eh. Maybe I he'll just, give up and cry. I know. I, I, we have been told, and I know vampires know like light. So here we go. And that uh, lasts for an hour. So have fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty and sure vampires passively take damage by being in sunlight. No idea. Anyway. This is daylight, not sunlight. Anyways. Daylight is sunlight. That's the point of the spell. Okay. Uh, in that case, Kess. I'm gonna cast Sickening Radiance. That sounds cool. What is that? Bro, that's sick. So, <laughs> a, a dim greenish light spreads uh, within a 30 foot radius sphere centered on the dude. Um, mm -hmm. Lovely. And uh, like he has to make a. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has to make uh, a Constitution saving throw. That means we're all in it, correct? Uh, No, he doesn't. He needs to do that on the start of his turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's so, not yet. So that's that's when this turn do starts. Do we also are we fucked by this? Yeah, are we also in this? Oh yeah. Oh Can no, we're not in it current. Uh, no, we are. If, he, if, she, if she centered it on the dude, I am currently radius, in front of yeah. that dude. Wait, can I can I center it so that everyone else is not in it? What's the radius you said? Yeah. 30, 30, 30 feet. 30 feet. This room this is, is tiny. This, this room is only forty by forty room. feet. Like this, there will be like a very Trust small. Me? Just blow it on a little. Yeah, it, like if you it only right takes a couple corner. of bad saving throws for this to get real bad real quick. I mean, if I'm in it, it's fine. I just want, like... Um, if you, because um, 30 foot radius, so that if you center it on the back corner, 30 yeah. of the 40 was, feet in this room is yeah. still affected by it. Yeah, there'll only be 10 feet at the back of the yeah, room. so I don't know. Do with that information as you please. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. <laughs> oh, this, this might get us killed. Okay. We're fine. Uh, TPK and Norovia, let's go. <laughs> you guys will be Chef fine. Chef A3 is All right. Vengeance. Um, you guys damn. will be fine, don't worry about it. Hey, okay, I told no, that's you fine. Okay, you cast us. a spell. Okay. That's that's cool. It's happened. Um, Jess really is trying to kill us. Anything I'm else you want to do turn? I told you guys. <laughs> uh, no, that's it. <laughs> uh, Brooks, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Because you're in the radiance. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it is magical though, so you get your whatever bonus. He's still muted, guys. He's still muted, I know, he's dumb. <laughs> I didn't hear Dutch say you're muted because <laughs> everyone else was talking. Uh, um, question. Hmm? It is magical. When, no, I'm not asking if it was magical. I know it's magical. I just heard I cast the <laughs> fucking spell. You loser. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Um, does a character know that they're making a saving throw? Or is it innate or subconscious? Or... I'll like... say that uh, as uh, this, because uh, the thing is, this all happens kind of at the same time, roughly, right? So, yeah. green hue happens, you suddenly feel very sick. So I know, I know that it doesn't feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a fucking. Wait, you said it was Constitution. Yeah. yeah. 22. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Doesn't do damage. It's not even half. It's all or nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it would I know so. what this yeah. spell does. Yeah, it's all or nothing. It's all okay. or nothing. I know so. what this spell does, but I don't think... Bro well, I mean, Brooks has never seen this spell no, before. No, not at all. Nope. Just the first all all, all cast, I know is that it makes me feel a bit shit, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. 
I mean, a lot, a, lot, a lot of holy that. magic makes Brooks feel a bit shit, so I'm just going to go forward and start pummeling the new guy. Go for it. And this is going to get real bad for me real quick. Mm. Alright, first attack. Oh no, fuck it. I'm going to rage first. I'm stupid. Are you fine? Uh, so bonus action rage. Uh, I fucking... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Jax is right in front of him, right? So there's no way I yes. can flank with Jax because this dude was basically pressed into the corner. Against the wall, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he moved it to Jax, didn't he? he yeah, but Jax really, was yeah. in the opposite corner because he was in one corner oh, and then true. Jax liked oh, yeah. it, like, tried to throw a thing at him and he dashed back. So now he... And then he came back to attack Jax. So he's... True. It's kind of hard to flank. Like, he, his back's you're, to the wall. You're in his very, back's to the wall. Basically. Like, you're, it's in a very small yeah, okay, space. that's like, fine. Home in which case, I'm going to attack here. recklessly because I'd already rolled with advantage. Okay. Uh, so, that is a 27 to hit on the first oh, one. Hell yeah. That hits. Uh, the second yeah, one are is you a 24. Using... Oh, I should do damage for the first one. You're right. Because I'll roll the d8s for you then. Mm -hmm. You're using the knuckles? Yeah, I'm using the knuckles. Right. Uh, so, the first one. Fledge. Ooh. So the first one is 13 points of magical bludgeoning damage. Okay. And 8 points of radiant damage on top. Oof. Okay. Big oof. Uh, the second one was like 24, I think I said. Also hits. Uh, so 4, 9, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, magical bludgeoning? Yep. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I used my bonus action to rage. I don't get disengaged because I'm not flurry of blows. Correct. I can do nothing but sit here in the fucking goo. Right. And I've reckless. And so he gets advantage on me if he chooses to. Okay. As you bash him twice, you can you can hear some of the like bones kind of crack and he just kind of looks at you and just hisses and you can see this like thick red liquid kind of leaking from his mouth as he does so and kind of like a few drops of it just kind of end up on your face and just kind of um nice. i will try and wipe that off immediately wait should i have a turn yes you do hmm? okay make a con save first please Perhaps. as you are in this this sickening green glow that Kes Man, conjured thanks up. Kes. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That's a natural two. Oh! You are about to take 40 10 radiant damage and take a point of exhaustion. Radiant? And yeah. Yes. And you glow. Um, yeah, no. The radiant damage isn't the problem. It's the exhaustion. Point of exhaustion. If you, if you fail bitches. six saving throws in this, you just die. Yeah, it's fine. I can dismiss it. And then the exhaustion. This won't take six rounds. The exhaustion so, Kes, doesn't go uh, away if you're dead. Cast roll 40 10 damage. All, right? 14. You take 14 points of radiant damage and you suffer one level of exhaustion and you are now currently emitting a dim greenish light in a five foot radius. There's so much light going on in this room now. <laughs> okay. We're in like a basement like mm -hmm. German techno rave. <laughs> Bill, you're so dumb. Uh, you are so <laughs> fucking dumb. <laughs> like... It's part of her charm, I think. Mm. No. Uh, okay. I'll feel better about my bad idea later. Let me just check something real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Hunter's Mark only has a verbal component. So I'm gonna... Hunter's Mark his ass. Go on. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot him with both of my crossbows because I can fucking do that. And Let's they are go. already loaded with silver bolts. So... America's ass, baby. First one is a 25 to hit. It's much better. Next one is a 24 to hit. Also hits. Okay. And you uh, you deal, what, a d6 for the bolt and then a d6 for the extra special enchantment. Uh, and a d6 for the radiant. mark. Yeah. Okay, so first one is six. Plus three radiant damage. Okay. Plus five. So 14. I think, right? Yes. 
Yes. Unless the radiant damage is embiggened. Okay. Second one, um, can I uh, put a fucking imbue elemental power into this one as well? Of course, like. Light. Fire damage? So this one is. 8 plus. 6, so 14 plus. 6 radiant damage. 20, so 20 yeah. plus. Fuck yeah. Nice. 7 fire damage. <laughs> Fuck that was yeah. a fucking roll. You fire these two bolts off your new hand crossbows, and you can see this guy just, just both of the bolts impact him in the upper chest, and he begins screaming, this blood curdling fire scream. Bad. Oh, yeah, silver bolts as well. Just, yeah. you know, silver bolts, ready to damage, fire everything. Yeah. In everything. case he's also on the oh, Mechanically, God. the only thing silver bolts do is that they negate uh, the resistance against non magical things. Uh, instead of having, gotcha. that's basically what silver is for. Is yeah, yeah, that's um, fine. Just they're not enchanted, them. but they ignore the uh, the resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing. That's what silver. So really, firing for. them out of these crossbows, it doesn't make any difference. But like, you know, no, it's yeah, but this is cool. It's, it's thematic. <laughs> um, and this blood curdling scream, the floor begin like the, the 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 ceiling, I guess, for you guys begins to shake. One of the the wooden pillars in the room is begins to crack. Yeah, he did not like that. He is not happy. Uh, is that your turn, Davian? Yeah. Okay. And oh boy, what a turn. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, Jax, before you start your turn, I would like for you to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> not he he ha. It's gonna be close. Mm -hmm. Plus eight, so 17. What's your DC? You're fine. There you go. You're fine. 14. You feel a bit queasy, but um, manage to brush it off. He is trying to kill me. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> this Your is guys are um, overreacting. It's fine. <laughs> Shut up. Just because the one person not in it. <laughs> what are you doing, uh, yeah. Jaxi Poo? I'm just trying to beat his ass. Go on, me. That's, uh, that's all I got. First attack is 11 to hit. Misses. Second one is 15 or 16. Why can I not read this dice ever? I don't know. Yeah, that's a 15. Um, okay, cool. 23 to hit. <laughs> 23 to hit? Yeah, that hits. Oh, dude, the first, more, the first punch, he kind of just like, with a very fast reflex, catches your hand and just pushes you back and... Even though he looks very thin and gaunt, he's there's a lot of power in that push. Like you, he uh, seems to be a lot stronger than he appears. The second one, though, you fucking clock him in the jaw. Fuck yeah, I do. Thirteen points of thunder damage. Thunder. Thunder. Okay. And then HP really doesn't help me here, does it? Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Hold. I Ooh. have thing I can do. Is that so? Uh. Ah. Uh, fuck. He's already against the wall, isn't he? Sorry? Is he already, like, against the wall? C yeah, kind of, sort of, yeah. Shit. Can't do a cool new thing. I cry. So, Rot, mate. So that's my turn. Alright. Uh. Daigon. Even though you're in uh, Jax's uh, body, yes, you still feel this like very nauseating feeling, which is weird for you. Yeah, uh, I'm like I don't have a stomach anymore. But the you fuck? Just don't feel very well. Uh, so I need you to. Would I make the save on my counter turn? Or would I make actually, it on Jax's turn? Um. Am I going to rule that because you're inside Jax's body, the only way you would have taken damage from that is if Jax took damage? And since he's saved, does that mean you're automatically safe? I think I'm going to go with that. Because you are not technically in the Radiance, Jax is. Therefore, if Jax would have yeah. taken damage from it, you would have. But because Jax saved, you're unfazed by it. Unless you decide to <laughs> pop out <laughs> of the body and then be in it, and then no. you have to make the save anyway. I'm also <laughs> just checking something. I might have... 
messed Does up that my mean obfuscates. It's the first time I did it. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that, like, if Jax was targeted by a fireball, Dagon would only take damage if Jax took damage? Mm -hmm. If she's in the bot, yeah, that's the whole thing about lingering soul. That's fucking. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing about lingering a... soul is they yeah. pop in someone else's body and then they just take half of meat whatever shield. damage their meat shield takes, essentially. Which I realized my obfuscate, I do think maybe only protects me, not Jax. I'm rereading it. Because it says like, when you receive damage, a possessed creature suffers, you can use your reaction to reduce it to a quarter. And I thought it also reduces theirs. I think going forward, I might have fucked up. I think it only reduces it for me. I don't think it reduces it for Jax or my host. Cool, so I'm dead. No, no, no. Okay, well, uh, hold on. Let me fucking... It says Let's you get. can become... When an attacker you can see hits you, you can use your reaction to half the damage. When you would receive the damage, half the damage a possessed creature suffers from an attack, I can use my reaction to reduce it to a quarter. So for me, reducing it to a quarter was correct. Yeah, it but doesn't. I don't think it reduces he, it for Jack. It doesn't I think say I when he takes damage. It says when you receive it. Yeah, yeah when I receive it. Well, so I think yeah, so that is only that only applies to you. Yes. Yeah, like, it's my other one. I was confusing with my divine barrier. Which I also does help the host, reading so the different. wording on this says to me that this is something that you can only really do when you're not in someone's body because it starts with beginning at 7th level you temporarily you can temporarily become incorporeal to avoid the brunt of an attack against you so I think this is something that but you can but it specifically says when you would receive half the damage a possessed creature suffers which is what I was doing I was receiving oh, damage that jack then never mind then the wording is just weird okay yeah. never mind yep yeah but this yeah. it does only apply to you though yeah yeah. Well, think, she went invisible oh. while already invisible. Yeah, that's why I was like. Oh, no, it's but, not yeah. It's like I made my matter even less tangible, yeah, even that's more fine. But um, it only applies to you. Though, yeah. So going as forward, <laughs> the damage reduction only goes to you. Blood yeah, going forward, it's only me. It's my divine barrier that would have affected Jax and that not there obfuscate. I mixed yeah. it up. My bad. Learning no a new class, friends. No worries. Can no we just hire the Ghostbusters. How dare you get it wrong? Uh, but yeah, it is your turn though, uh, Diagon. So. Uh... Oh, okay, cool. So I get my reaction back for later, so I can do the correct thing next time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will. So ja on Jax's turn, well, what did what did you attack with on your turn, or what did you his, do? Uh, you also went bunchy bunch. His, his okay. Oh. Then I'll go ahead and do invoke smite, but this time your gauntlets instead of Brooks's start glowing with that bluey radiant ghost glow <laughs> for next turn. And then like my first attack next year. Yeah, hmm. and then I'll hopefully if if you are to get hit again, I'll do a thing to help you out. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh it is another vampire's turn and Daylight <laughs> spell. Does it, it might hit Brooks now. <laughs> let me let me quickly look up a technicality and then okay. uh... it might just be bright light, I'll be honest. I feel like I can like... tell you because it's on my drift globe. Thing. Hold on, no, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm, like, I'm looking at just shh, 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 shh. children. Hey there. Yeah, um... <laughs> nice weather outside. I feel like I've read just sage advice about this before. I, th I th it's words written. It just says bright light not yeah it's sunlight. not sunlight jeremy yeah. crawford the daylight spell does not create sunlight contrast it to the cleric's corona of light and the sun blade there you go so uh, because there's a th thing with vampires that if they are in sunlight, it's bad sunlight thing, but that doesn't apply to him because it's well, not exactly that feels sunlight like, i understand well, i understand why i understand jeremy crawford's reasoning but also it feels mm. like the biggest fuck you oh yeah i mean luckily for me this works both ways because the last one just assumes he hears daylight. He's like the sunlight dog, mm -hmm. doy, yeah. the boy. He's now going to find this out. He's not going to. Find um, yeah, we're learning before we got the yeah, So go. first things first. <laughs> down later. What happens? Okay. Oh, he has to make a save for there, Yeah, there, the thing is, I'll be exhausted. Both of the oh, effects yeah. that are going to happen here are at the start of its turn. Mm -hmm. So what goes first? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> coin. I guess I could flip a coin. I believe... I feel... I might be pulling this out my ass. But I feel like it is... Uh, I external that. effects than character effects. Because if it was like a lair action, it'd be like lair action. Then it... it you know? So like... Oh, I just get to pick. Oh, nice. you just get to pick? <laughs> yeah. Uh, simultaneously, in gonna, rare gonna cases, effects can happen at the same time, especially at the start or end of a creature's turn. If two or more things happen at the same time on a character or monster's turn, the person at the game table, whether player or DM, who controls that creature decides the order in which things happen. 
Like, oh, so sick. you so you decide it as if it was your player character, meaning in the best way possible. Yeah, so I'm going to say that the vampire first begins to regenerate uh, some health, <laughs> because uh, that's what they do. Um, yeah, you know, that's wait. also cringe, so... Can he, can he regenerate? Yeah. Do he they can. not... Because he's, he's saying he can. He's taken radiant damage from the fucking crossbow bolts, hasn't he? And mm -hmm. from me, because and of Dagon. Yeah. yeah, and from yeah. the So he can't so. regenerate. I'm stupid. Woo! Uh, in that case, oh, shit. in that case, uh, he's gonna make a con save for the sickening green oh. shit. Watch him have like twelve legendary resistances. Up his asshole. This is just a vampire spawn, dude. This is not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, con, yo, big nine for the save, Bell. <laughs> Bell definitely saves. Woo. I mean, at least okay. exhaustion. It would have been really it? annoying if he had saved and then we're taking damage. And at least like, like, exhaustion doesn't affect him because I don't think yeah. Yeah. that affects undead. Oh. Didn't he's a creature. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. Uh, 10, 19. Oh, good rolls. 25, 31. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, so. Um, Three I have a, I have a question, right? Yes. <laughs> None of you really made the active decision to close the trap door behind you, right? We did not. No. We did not. We would have left it open, hundred percent. No. Nobody he's said it. To, so therefore, he's going to spider climb onto the wall. Uh, no. Leave your melee, don't you, you two, so you both got a reaction to attack him. Okay. Um. Shit. I need Warcaster to use this spell, huh? You have yeah, your glowy, you're, you're you have glowing, your glowing knuckles. Your gauntlets are glowing. Just I punch know, him. but like... Just punch him! <laughs> if you wanted something else... Punch him, I can stop him from moving. Yeah, but Chewy. radiant damage. Punch him. Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, hold on, I'm point. You know what? Let's put it on Koiba then. <laughs> on using uh, using uh, Koiba uh, dice. You're worth Koiba's dice. On uh, <laughs> I still get reckless. Wait, do I get reckless if I reaction attack? No, nope. because I, I reckless so. on I my turn. I think it's just your attack action. Nope. It's just your attack action. It'd be just on that one turn. Okay, I remember how bad I, I, I still roll good. I still right, roll good. Fuck me over. Hell yeah, dad. Oh, look what you did. Look what you did. This what? is why you should have blessed <laughs> you me. You jinxed it ah. by saying that. Toka, what did you I want? I don't hit. I don't hit. You don't hit? Fair enough. Uh, Brooks. Oh, I need two. That hits. Uh, given Brooks with the glow. <laughs> uh, b eleven magic bludgeoning. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I can do as well. He's gonna go attack his dad. He. Yeah, so he he he. Begins to scale the wall and just over the ceiling, oh, just dashes towards the. Um, this is a forty by forty. Removes in the corner, so it takes forty feet to get to the top of the. Yeah, so he's gone. He's out of the room. He went. He fucking creepy crawled his way over the ceiling. He's out of the room now. What's his move? Oh uh -oh. my god! Uh, and you what hear a, a loud scream coming from upstairs. Nice. Oh, guys, my body's up there. Yeah, but he's not going to drink <laughs> your fucking... Don't think you have to worry about your bloodless -blood. body. I think you'll be oh, fine. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> it's blood. It's just congealed. So it's just blood frozen in yeah, time. It doesn't give a fuck. It has it's blood. Like, it's like a... It's like a... The pops. But uh, that is his turn. No, he's it's out like of the room. wine that's been kept in Tupperware. Uh, Lazarin. Uh, con save, please. Very much like... Oh, con save. Oh, obviously done. Uh... Uh, a billion. A, or a con save? Yes. <laughs> 15. You're fine! <laughs> um, much like... Sense. Nice. Much like when you lose the big spider that was in your room suddenly, it's the... Oh, fuck, 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 oh. fuck. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Why are you the bastard? <laughs> 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 I'm following him. I'm going. I'm out. Oh, I'm oh, you, you dashing? Wow, how far did you fucking... Well, he left the room, so it'll be... It'll be yeah, like about... The top right. If you dash, you'll make it out of the room, and you'll be in the room again with a trapdoor. 
It'll be a slightly ahead of you because you have to actually climb steps, whereas he could just scale the wall. But oh, that's fine. Like the, the dash? Doesn't look that hard. How many steps is it? Was it like forty feet of steps? I mean, oh how... wait, you were yeah no, I guess yeah. Uh, I guess by at the stairs anyways. You're probably still back. No, I... like where in the room were? I would have like entered. I mean, I would have entered, but I wouldn't have been like. Oh, in that case, right yeah. In that case, with your normal movements, you'll be able to. Be pretty hot on his tail. And he, as you get upstairs, you you leave the the like the small room mm. that the trapdoor was in, and you can see yeah. him ahead of you in the hallway, just looking at both the barkeep and the and his father in the uh -oh. far corner of the chapel, and he's just menacingly like scratching his nails over the wall, like menacingly looking at them. This We're gonna get him killed. I'm like shit. Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. What's the saving mode again? Gonna... It's the home plane is the material plane, because that's where Barovia came from. We don't know. Oh, oh I'm not keeping him there. <laughs> I'm not letting a vampire just loosen the material no, plane. I know, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying that's where he'd go. Oh, no, he wouldn't. Oh, whatever, I, I just want him not here right now. Okay, so what's the saving mode? Charisma. Charisma? Charisma? He was very flirty. I don't know, I don't know if I'm to be quite charismatic, but... 17? Son of a bitch! That's a save. <laughs> no, the save is 16. Oh. Well, that's, a, that's a fourth level spell slot gone! Oh, <laughs> oh sad. <laughs> I don't do those! <laughs> that doesn't work, it's straight away it's like... <laughs> shit, shit, shit! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, not much more I can do. I can't remember the turn order. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I'm gonna. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do, man. Just gonna be swearing. <laughs> like <laughs> fuck. Um, Kess, it's fuck. your turn. Brooks, you're on deck. Okay. You doing battle? I have, I have plans. Okay, I'm. Um... At least we get to leave the sickening radiance to go chase. Them. I have, I have a plan. It's a free action to drop I mean, concentration. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about, drop talking about that, I'm dropping, point. I'm dropping concentration. So Davian is no longer exhausted. Or uh, no, 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 no. He will still be exhausted. The exhaustion will stay. No, no it's not. It's no, the light and any levels of exhaustion caused by the spell go away when the spell ends. Okay. Thank God. All right. Which is why I told you guys you were overreacting. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but okay. you can undo away death. That is true. Yeah, that's, <laughs> okay, that fair doesn't enough. make any difference. So, Davian, you <laughs> no longer exhausted, no longer nauseous. You, you feel fine again. It, it did hurt a little bit, but other than that, you're uh, you're good. Um, yeah, it hurt. But... Davian's been brave. He's got Anyone have very haste? Hurt. Anyone oh. can cast haste. I, I have feline agility. I can leave Jackson. I can away. fly. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think oh, but Daigo will still I didn't like ask three about flying, did I? Speed. <laughs> I didn't ask about flying, did I? I asked about haste. True. How far out of the can I I can see up and through the thing, right? The trapdoor. Well, you don't. You, if you're just looking from down where you are up to the trapdoor, you can't see him because he's already like out of that room. In the, no, in no, the no. Corridor. But I can like I can see through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the top of the the, the stairs and like that. That yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> misty step as far as I can see. Okay, so we'll say that you're at like you're at you're on the floor and like the trapdoor downstairs is next to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can see um, Lazarin kind of just around a corner uh, in the in the hallway. You hear a little swearing. Uh, how far do I have to move to be able to see? Can if I move my full movement, can I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll be able to, to to leave the room, and you can see him down the hall, looking menacingly at his father and the barkeep that are both just kind of like in the corner of the chapel, just kind of like. Ooh. Do I do it again? No. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at him a couple times. Okay. Yeah, to blast. Eldritch Blast. 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 One is a natural 20. Yeah. And one is a 23 total. Both hit. That's going to hurt. So the first one, 
I roll 10 plus my roll, right? Because it's full damage and then a yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, 20 force damage. Three thunder. And uh, another nine force damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Uh, and that's all I will do for now. As you, um... Yeah. Yeah. Two seconds. I hate that he's thinking it terrifies yeah, yeah. me. My music just got really intense as well. Yeah. Same. As he's like, hmm. I have a, I have a really pog fucking. Uh, as you blast Barovia. this 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 guy in the back with with your eldritch blast, um, <clears throat> you just see it go go slumps down and falls prone on the floor. And it's no longer moving. I don't like a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like a day. I can't do anything else. I don't think. No. Is that your turn? Okay. Yeah, that's my turn. Brooks. I'm gonna run 40 feet out of the room. Mm -hmm. Do I make it to the top of the trapdoor? Yeah. Do I see the body? No. That'll be around the corner for you, because you're still in that room. Bonus action, step of the wind. Okay. Uh, so I've got another 40 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. With that 40 feet, you'll be able to make... You, you'll be able to get to... The, uh, the the ball. You can you can turn the corner, see twenty feet ahead of the doorway that there is this vampire spawn is slump on the floor, not moving. But you still have. If you use your full forty feet, you can get next to it. I fuck. I don't know what we in character know about vampires and vampire spawn and. We don't know anything about specific different vampires. We know about vampires. Yeah, we, we just know vampires some basics. Exist, We've been told sunlight. about. We've been told about water, sunlight, and radiant, and like holy damage. You were That's also we told about them turning like, into this feet. like cloud of mist. Yeah, and that's what the water was for—the um, running yeah, water. Yeah, this not... guy isn't doing that. Uh, yeah, but that's what—that's what, that's what fucked with me. Before. He's not doing that. Well, then just be possessed. Can I run over and uh... stake him in the heart? Oh, wait, Can I? Still we're still in initiative. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're still in initiative. That's what scares me. <laughs> Don't chop Frick. <laughs> Frick. What do I have in my bag? Ba -ba 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 -ba. A beer. I've got a lot of beer. I don't think I can waterboard him with beer. <laughs> well, let's try. It's got water in it. We need to make a holy beer. Holy like fuck a off. beer brewed with holy water. <laughs> yeah. Like there fucking needs, imagine no, selling that to, to like, the clergy. Uh, beer that doesn't uh, get drunk. Like a bar or like a monastery or whatever that's like specialty is that they serve beer that's been blessed by like it's run <laughs> by clerics. Uh, no, because it's they, beer they'd, that be gives like, no they'd be like clerics of the god of like you know beer, right? And it's like they serve it. It. yeah, right. <laughs> and they serve pog beer, <laughs> and it would be like holy beer. And there's no hangover after. That's, that's, I'm that's trying to figure out if does. I have anything. Right I don't down. think I have anything that I could use to gag him. <laughs> My new big bad evil guy is someone just wasting that. See, the thing is, right, I was hoping that I could, like, <laughs> gag him so that if he's playing dead, he can't jump up and bite one of us. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I have anything to gag him. And I feel like, I feel like, uh, fucking crawl barring his teeth out is a bit much. Nah, I'll do it. Gag him with the crowbar. Just in front of his father, now that we've potentially killed him, just fucking smash his teeth out so that he can't bite us. 
literally just put anything in his mouth. Like, but dad, does he look? He looks dead, right? Like dead, you, dead. You just see him laying on the floor, slump. Is he like face Pin down? Him. Pin him. He got hit in the back Pin and him. he fell forward. So yeah, he's face down. Fuck. Herb I'm stomp. gonna turn him over. Okay. As you turn him over, you can see his <laughs> eyes are still wide open and there's still like this red blood shot. But he doesn't actually oh. move. Bloody like eye. <laughs> <laughs> Who in the group had a steak? Was it just Davian? Davian. There's a bunch Davian of has all of them. Davian? You say all of them like I took any from other people. <laughs> you guys could have had your own. Yeah, I'm just saying you had all of them. I love how I asked the question all of them and then the I was bullying have. Davian about the stakes. That's just so cool being so cool. Um, so what are you doing? I mean, Brooks? the stakes are high. You... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start dragging him back. <laughs> uh, do I have any movement? Do I have any movement left? No. If I use my action to, can I use my action to dash again? Step to win this bonus action. I see why not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if it specifies. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say you can. That's what the rules say. I'd say you can use your action to dash on top of that. There. Okay. Uh, can I also grab him? And then fucking. Yeah, he's not putting up much of a fight. You can like just jam by the foot and just start dragging him. I'll say that because you're dragging him, you'll have half movement, so you can move like what twenty feet back with him, which will, yeah. which is enough to kind of get him to the door, into that room, uh, like the door of the room where the trap door was. <laughs> this is traumatizing for us, <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck okay. Yeah. Davian. Can I just come sprinting up the fucking stairs and stake him through the heart? What's your movement speed? 35 feet. We'll say that because you're the, a ranger, you probably would have not strayed far from the steps. So yeah, you have just enough movement to get to his body. That's why I dragged him back. And, uh, yeah, you can use your action to drive a stake through his heart. Oh! As you do that, <laughs> um, as you, as you stake him in the heart, I, I'm not gonna make you roll because he is on the floor. Like, it's the heart yeah, to miss. Be pretty embarrassing for um, me. you ran the stake into his heart, and you can see his entire, like, face begins to crawl, like, the skin begins to crawl, and he just... His eyes w widen, and you just hear him hiss and scream as the stake just buries deeper and deeper into this this vampire's heart. And you can see the entire, like, any moisture that was left in his body leaves, and he becomes, oh, like, it all no. shrivels up, and eventually the red bloodshot eyes dull, and him. he stops moving. And uh, you have killed uh, your first vampire. Well, he's not a proper vampire. He's, he's like a, a vampire. He's a little, baby. Like a little baby vampire to, you know, get the, he's an apprentice. Get, the get the juices flowing. You got no Are these rings, uh, uh, yeah, you can. Just wipe off some of, bit, bit. Some of the vampire gunk. And yeah. Back into my uh, bandolier. Right I... away, sort of look at uh, the father, the father, and they're like, Come on. traumatized. Didn't... We did Didn't... it. He just I'm looks a... at I'm... you, he's one hand like around the holy symbol, the other hand he's just kind of like still has that bottle of booze. Uh, you should have listened to he's Brooks just and standing left. there. Mouth is like wide open and he is not moving. And Alric kind of uh, looks at I... him and looks at you. you. Didn't lock the door behind you, did you? We didn't lock it behind us. The headlock was on the top. I'm, I, didn't I'm gonna go to. leave Jax and go get my body back. Ow. Okay, real quick. <laughs> I am going to uh, start doing a little, just a little general like. Rested soul like prayer to maybe try and comfort the father a little bit. Just, I'm just doing a like. I mean, he's also a priest. Just doing a little, a little bit of praying. Yeah, a little bit of like. He, he, he puts the bottle, right around he, he puts the bottle down and goes into his room, uh, one of the rooms that you previously like went into, Jax. 
It comes out with like a blanket and covers the body of 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 his of his son and just lifts it up and I'm gonna bury him and just like walks out of the church to the, into the cemetery, the left I, of the church. I think it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go help. Have fun with that. Yeah, and as you do, um, but... as you do, follow him, uh, Brooks. You can see him. There's a lot of like just empty, like pre-dug holes, uh, empty, and he he just lowers and like very gently places the body of his son in it. Doesn't take the doesn't take the the blanket off. He just leaves him covered and yeah, says like just kind of mutters a few words, um, and and just begins to shovel dirt on it. Uh, I'll if he lets me, I will take over shuffling as you kind of like go for the like try and grab the shovel from him he just looks at you and nods and lets go of the shovel and just doesn't leave he just looks he just looks down into the grave slowly being covered is there a is there a headstone for this grave no like there's not even a blank one it's just an empty grave yeah yikes um i know that this was Better. I, I just, I, I'd hoped and prayed that maybe if I kept him long enough, one day, find a cure. It's just naive of me. Knowing it's the right thing does not necessarily make it the easy thing. God's no. But for whatever beyond you believe in, this was not where he should have been and now he's at peace my son died when he went to the castle this thing wasn't my son he was merely using his body as a vessel and yet we still all hold out hope when we do Is there any... Is there any, like, tombstones around? Yeah, or, like, like stones that are, like, you know, somewhat big? Um, as you kind of look around, uh, are, you all, are you also, like, exit the church and head into, the like, the cemetery? Yeah. As you look around, it just seems that they just kind of run out of <laughs> tombstones after a while. <laughs> and they haven't really Is made... Are there any, like, lot bigger lot stones around that... A lot of unmarked so, graves, a like, lot of... It's a lot of unmarked graves, a lot of, yeah. It's just, it's not right. Um. Thank you for doing what needed to be done. Um, at least, this way I won't have to listen to him screaming at me anymore. Um, I, I don't have anything to really give you as a thanks, but just just know that um for well, one of the grateful. rare times in my life I did not do this in hopes of getting something. <laughs> um I, I I suppose I do have something that I can help you with. I heard you talking to Elric about um, you know potentially you know, about the prisoner in, in the Burgomaster's house. Um, I know of a way in that isn't the front door. They might not see that coming. If you do plan on, I don't know, rescuing her or whatever. Why don't we step back inside give you a moment on your own and then you can tell us as a group when you're ready yeah sounds good um you can in the meantime if, if you need a place to stay for the night um there's plenty of spare beds in the church if you need a place to sleep i understand if you, if not though but we had an offer I mean, if anything, it feels like the last place anyone would expect us to be. Yeah, plus, um, well, 
Serena sort of made it that we kind of got left alone now. I, 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 as the cleric, shouldn't be going out roaming the streets, but the attacks in the church stopped a little while ago, so... Be somewhat safe. Best to keep an eye out just in case, but at least it's better than roaming the streets. Yeah, there's a lot of uncomfortable shit out there. Oh, yeah. We fucking... We've seen a hag, we fought some fucking werewolves, and yep. our cleric fucking detonated someone dead. Yeah, that's um, just, uh, another day in Barovia, I'm afraid. Yeah. Werewolves and vampires already. Well, um, I... I'll, I'll be with you shortly. Um, Give me a few moments alone, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll at least inform you of this 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 alternate way into the burgomaster's house, and you can decide what to do with that information. I'll just like pat him on the shoulder, and then walk back in. I'll go inside to inside. follow. Dude, real talk, I fucking hooked that vampire with the crossbow. <laughs> That's some good shit. Yeah, that was sick. Um, yeah, so he yeah, comes back inside about, about 10 minutes after you leave him alone. Oh, before, oh. before he comes back inside, if mm -hmm. we're alone, because is Alric around, or is he... Yeah, Alric is still there. He's just going to sit, he's still sipping his, his, his brewski, sitting there. Uh, ah, whatever, I'll stay up while he's there anyway. But like, so, so that, that bad idea earlier that I had, probably bad, hear me out. They mentioned those ghosts that, like, go up to the castle every night and no one knows why or what they do. I, I could I could blend in. I could follow them one night and see where they go and see what happens to the ghosts. Talking about wait, the March of the Dead? Wrong? Yeah. Um, well, what they do is they... The, 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 the spirits of fallen adventurers who, like you, came to Barovia and... Found, I'll fit right in. Found their way on the opposite side of Strahd, and he killed them, or his people killed them, and they get raised every night, walk up to the castle to fill their quest once again, and then they reappear here the next day and do the same oh. thing. Oh, so it's not like it's a mystery then. We're, we don't need to know what goes on there. No. It, it won't help us to find. Oh, well, then never mind. It looks like it's a show of um, intimidational strength. Yeah, it looks like it's just like a, a military parade. Theatrics, I guess. Something yes. like that. It's just, yeah. It's just. Never mind then. This is their afterlife. It's something that Strahd or one of his men or women or whatever monsters he has working for him. Follow up question. Just to save time. And we're in a place where this is probably the least surprised or weirded out anyone would be by my current natural state. Do we think it's a better idea for me to be walking around in my spirit form most of the time here? Or does that make us even more likely, like, if we do find the odd, rare ally, would they think we're immediately aligned with Strahd if I'm walking around in my spirit shape? What do you um. think, guys? Um... <laughs> I feel like it, it's safer for your body in general to be in the spirit, but you do make a good point on... I don't want uh, people to think we're one of them or something, because you have I mean, me. I mean, if we know if someone's like, coming, we can like explain it, I know. I guess I could just I, hide inside one yeah. of you when people... I also you. think that like there would be an assumption that if you were an ally for Strahd, then you would keep your physical form, because... You know, that seems to be the pattern. It's only really the people who fought against Strahd that are roam around as spirits, right? Everyone else retains their physicality. I guess. True. They get turned into, like, vampires or fucking fed. Yeah. I feel like most people are going to be looking at us and go, Huh, you aren't from around here. You're probably not under strats. I was gonna say, this is the most I'll fit in probably for a while, actually. Kind of. True. <laughs> okay, well, when we, whenever we go to rest, 
bed for the night, if you don't mind, uh, Cass, letting me... Letting yeah, my course. body rest in your vessel while we're here. Unless uh, yeah. you need it. Um, it does mean point... I won't be able to touch anything while we're here. That sucks. But... At this point, uh, just ask. The <laughs> father comes back inside and, and looks at you all. Um, I really thanked a couple of you outside, but um, thank you for doing what I should have done a while ago. It's a tough thing to accept. And that being said, I mean, not to doubt your abilities or anything, but that was not necessarily a, a safe undertaking. You probably would have ended up hurt or worse if you tried. Most likely, yes. Um, I already mentioned it to your friend, but I, I heard you guys talking earlier about this prisoner in the Burgomaster's house. If you do intend to investigate or, 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 or save her, um, I know a way in to the Burgomaster's house uh, that isn't the front door, and they might not see that coming. It, it predates us being here. It's it's still from a time where we weren't where we are now. Um, the uh, recently passed you know, Burgomaster um, was an avid... Um, worshipper of Aros and, and some other minor deities as well and he um, well he constructed a special entrance for me to just be able to, to, to use whenever I made visits to his home to avoid um, just to make it a little easier for me to get in and out uh, without having to go through his, his, his guards and, and all that he just so I could I could uh, tell you where that is, and then I'm gonna tell you where that is regardless, and then you can do with that information as you please. But um, the the Burgomaster's house is surrounded by a pretty tall fence. Um, but if you get to the uh, back of the fence, uh, so around the house, um, you'll notice that there's a a a, a small. Um, small latch um, that if you if you if you open it you'll find <clears throat> I suck at explaining this um, there's a small latch yeah. um, constructed into the fence where once you open it you'll be able to uh, flip a switch and uh, some of the bars of the fence will kind of lower you'll be able to squeeze through the fence. And then you'll be able to just, I don't know, go into the back door or something. Got it. Which I Thanks. have a key to. Hold on. He oh. digs into his pockets and hands you another key. Oh, would you mind giving me the other key back? That's oh, low. Yeah, I'll, I'll hand it. Oh, Jack's at it. Thank you. You missed the whole Jackson filtered the door thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he handed, uh, I guess once you give him the key, Jax, he'll give you the key to the You'll back trade. door of the Burgomaster's house. Tradesies. Now, the Burgomaster's house isn't very big, um, so chances are once you're inside, um, you'll, uh, it'll be a matter of time before they realize you're there, but at least that way they won't see you coming. It might give you a few minutes to get your bearings before you get into a kerfuffle. Let's pick a good plan. I, um, if you want to s spend some time here to rest or potentially even sleep, um, feel free to. Um, it should be safe here. How's everybody feeling? What's. No, maybe they don't want to talk. Are we talking yeah. physically or emotionally? I mean, or... just, I mean more physically. I mean, I feel like physically could... fine. I feel a little bit weaker, if that makes sense. But like, I feel fine. I just feel diminished a little. I could, I could do with a little rest. Like just a. Maybe we take a little short break. 
you know, short we'll break. Get our bearings or, yeah. and then head over to do some more. I mean, we were offered a bed here for the night if we wanted. But it's still yeah. like midday at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Four or five hours. Really we, hard for you. No, you have no concept have no of time concept here. Of time. Um, um, it just comes down to are we tired enough to sleep? Yeah, pretty much. Do we? Uh, do we in character feel tired enough to sleep, Dutch? Uh, you've had a pretty like a good. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> All of you. Oh. I'm gonna quickly double check this just to make sure that I um. That you don't fuck us. Roll a death saving throw. <laughs> Nah. You're conscious, but roll a death save, and you carry this one until you go unconscious again. And you just have either a free fail or success. You rolled in that one, you're dead. Um. Okay. 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 Oh. He needs to roll to see if Jax dies next time he goes to sleep. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't have to start doing that for two weeks. Give me just a second. Why, is that how long it takes for lycanthropy to kick in? That's a bit better, Robs. Who? It was you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I got like, a, like an 11 on the saving throw. I'm probably fine. Yeah, I forgot Nothing about not. that. I forgot about that. Oh, Look, it's going to be like DC 10. No, it's... Don't worry, we're going to run you through the whole full battery of medical tests. It's going to be like no, my none DC. Of us we're going to we run against your MRI, your CAT scan. We will all forget. We'll do some blood like, tests. And then at the we worst possible moment, he's going to be like, hey, FYI. <laughs> It's fine. Luckily, like a like canthropy, super fucking easy to to undo. Yes, you go to wait, wait, remove curse for his watch, and he's not there. Ah, true. Yeah, remove curse. Only if you know he's cursed. I mean, if you, if man, man turns into werewolf. First thing I do, remove curse. Problem solved. After we beat the shit out of him, of course. Oh, is Lazarin going to be awake in the middle of the night when the full moon hits? My alarm will go off. He's going to start chewing on one of us before we get to know. So what, what, one of us gets like a, an arm gnawed off, but then ah, we'll remove her. I'll have to get past my tin cans. Just going to start gnawing on Dagon's body. It's going to be in the vessel soon. You won't be able to get to it. <laughs> oh, wait, I never sleep. I'll see you if you wolf out. It's fine. Not true. Dude, okay, I can possess you. System. I can try and possess can you, you all, and make you just numb, numb on yourself um, until it's. <laughs> can you uh -oh. all give me your wisdom modifiers, please? Ooh, what the f plus three. Three. Oh, I've got a fucking pug wisdom modifier. Plus, plus two. Plus four. Oops, I rolled something. Plus one. Accident. Plus three. Nice. Hold on, Good hold one. On. Thanks. Good wisdom check. <laughs> is this uh, a so thing of like Jax, the wise. Your wisdom modifier uh -huh. is. Two. No. Uh, Brooks? One. Um, if it matters, I have advantage on saves. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, Daigon, three? If it matters, I've got $20 PayPal. Uh, Lazarin? That's five. Okay, that's good. You have 20, you have 20 wisdom? Like, I have 20 wisdom. It's just really bad if our wisdom's gonna degrade while we're here, because that's my subclass. Davian? Based on. <laughs> I'll be next. Plus three. Three. It's gonna be something like uh, your guess? wisdom effects. Four. Or how long you can stay wisdom. here before you go well, mad? You're the lowest wisdom, I need yeah. all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh. I don't like that. No, Why did oh, you... I have advantage. I like oh. I'm, the lo I'm the lowest wisdom, Soko. I'm the one who loses. Yikes. Uh, so, Doc, mm -hmm. I only Is rolled this a 12. Spell? No. Uh, Look, 15. I have to ask. It's a funny meme. No. Oh, like, you? Fuck! Anyone that Same. rolled uh, lower than a 17. <gasps> Two wisdom I got, boys. I got a nat. I got a nat is twenty. Is wisdom gonna go down? Oh no! I, I got a like nat it. twenty for a total of twenty-two. I don't like it. You both. You just die. No, no me as well. Are you as well, three, uh, three uh, three uh, Davian? Yeah. Oh no. You three. <laughs> um, Why those three? Just mark on your uh, sheet, in, like your oh. notes somewhere. Mm. Um. No. That your. Uh, you have one point of sanity drained. Oh, oh good! That oh, that's oh, what this good. is. Oh. oh! It has sanity checks? 
That's cool. Oh. I'm just oh. No. I'm just gonna put my score as being sanity. I'm just gonna make a sanity score and just say it's one now. I yeah, it's, down uh, it. yeah, I guess insanity, I guess, because it's negative, right? I just, oh, oh, I just put one point sanity. Just, yeah, one point sanity drain. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Well, I put minus okay, one. What's the, so, what's the scale? Like one to ten, one to I five? I put plus one. Oh, I asked you for your wisdom modifier, so you figure out why I did that. Based on your uh, probably based on your wisdom yeah, modifier. It's when, you have le when you get negative it's to your modifier, you probably go insane. Is my guess. So I could go insane again. You could go insane after on so one fail. So basically, all I need is two fails. Bearing in mind, I only again, have a plus like, two. That is totally okay. speculation. Yeah, yeah, speculation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Counterpoint. He's it, it canonically be, told us the DC. Three base. Counterpoint. Who gives a fire? No, he's, that that could be just no. That could be for just just this one. Each time we do this, this could be completely different every time. We no, okay. Not, well, not, let's assume the DC is not going to get uh, easier. Uh, we'll find out, guys. How about that? Let's just let you know, you know get... when it's time for you to know. How about that? Yeah, guys, he'll guys. tell us. He'll tell us Listen, things. I bet because of how modifiers work, it's like it starts at three, and then you either because you can have a minus three, right? It's your modifier. Yeah. So it's like it would probably be three as base, and then based on your modifiers, how many fails you. Okay, oh, yeah, like no. listen, we well, don't know. That two. is also speculation, but I don't think the DC or whatever. Like, just don't worry about it. Okay, uh, all I'm happens, saying happens. is, we'll all I'm happens. saying is, we'll find out. if the DC does, the DC is probably not going to get easier. If the DC says that it is, I need to roll a 15 or above every Are time. We suck, dude. Are we aware of this happening? No. Do nope. we feel anything or we're just noting it down for mechanical reasons? Okay. You're noting it down for mechanical reasons. Yeah. Better. All right. Yeah, players Love know, that. characters So we're don't. not going to, like, reg uh, regress. Role whatever. play. Like Why the day. fuck are me... Yeah. Cass and Jack. The way the this same mechanically, the way this works is, as you spend your time here, when you get exposed to fucked up shit, like for instance a hag t putting a child in a bag, mm. uh, or uh, having a snake a vampire, it. or a va you know staking a vampire in front of in a church, shit like that, shit just shit that is like that weight is gonna weigh on you, and like at the end of the day. If something fucked like that has happened, you all roll a check. You make one of these saves, yeah. We'll see if that affects you or not, kind of thing. So the, for now, don't worry about it. Once it becomes, it gets to a point where you should be worried, I'll let you know, okay? It is the countdown to a psychotic break. Yeah. Yes. Yay! Maybe. Who's and gonna Brooks, break first? Brooks is surprising. Brooks, with like the lowest wisdom, is surprisingly fine. Um, Just gotta start drinking. Oh, but yeah, uh, with that, um, you were told we, about this. You never uh... answered my question, Dad. Oh, what did, I, what did you ask for? Are we in character tired enough to sleep? Like, do we feel? Um, it may not have been the longest day, but it's been a pretty taxing day. Uh, you've had, a, you know, you, you you fought some werewolves, you explored a town, chased this fucking child stealing hag. Uh, fought a and vampire. A child. Uh, We've done a lot in one day. Yeah, like so <laughs> even though it may not have been the longest day when it comes Is to like, time spent, it's been a very active day, so I'd say that you could sleep. Yeah. Your I characters mean, feel tired enough that they like if you 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 could sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Don't we'll wake up at like the wee hours here. of the I, morning, I late at night. We, but... we is EP or something. <laughs> EP is we. Uh, we so I mean Donovich offered us a place to stay if we want to rest. I, we could. I just come back here afterwards, right? Like I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna. I only have like I'm physically sleep. fine, but I only have one big fight left in me. Yeah, we've only got one big fight left. We probably have to fight if we're sneaky enough. Yeah. yeah. You we'll really be, assume you we. If it's you think that we as a group can do anything without getting into a fight, then you're a very optimistic man. Do you have no Especially pattern recognition? Like oh no, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just putting forward a very optimistic attitude because if I don't, dear God, I'm going to have a panic attack. So we're just mm -hmm. gonna keep on going. Absolutely. Keep on moving, yeah, you know. Keep on moving. Let's go. What's next? Like, you know, it's, it's, why don't it's, we just it, put it to a vote? It's an open invite. If you choose to not sleep just yet, uh, just come by whenever you are ready to. I would like to rest for a little bit, at least. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a little sit down, you know, mull over. I would like to go up to a Lazarin. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <And> just <laughs> sort of a... 
I'm just gonna hug him really tightly. Out, Burks. Just pretty tight. Just Burks. <laughs> Burks, out. Just take 10 seconds and breathe. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, really quietly to a Lazarus and no one else. Nobody else has to know that you're not on top of shit. Just take a couple of seconds. Take a breather. Cool. I'll just pat him on the shoulder. And... Bro, because I'm doing that thing now, you know, when you think about your breathing and I don't know how to reset yourself. <laughs> I'm not thinking yeah, about I every flick breath. him in the side of the ear as he's mid-talking. Oh. <laughs> Are you still paying attention to your breathing? Well, now you re-mentioned it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk a second time. <laughs> I just broke the shit out of me later. I'm like, are you thinking now? What are you thinking <laughs> Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Are you Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Are we taking a long or a short? Short. Sure. Well, if, sure. if we're taking a short rest, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really need anything from short rest, so if she's up for it, I will ask Dagon to teach me some more sign language. So let's go. Wait, why aren't we long resting though? Like, what? Because I don't know. Because Alasrin doesn't it. want I'm, to. I'm obsessed. Because we, he wants to go do the Burgomaster's <laughs> house and then come back. Let's just put it to a vote. I'm of the essence. Is oh, the all essence? those in favor of a short, a shorter rest, or we're just going to sleep. I don't really care either way. No, I'm fucking tired. Oh, three is... I'm not. I'm not really tired, but like I you know, am abstaining. Fucking hit with. I that's Carry their way personally, because I I don't really sleep, and I don't think the right, the only thing that's feeling fucking care sick. Well, and the only thing that feels kind of like drained is not something I think a rest will help, or at least not a short one. But I don't really care. You know what? I just for the sake of making a decision, let's fucking short rest and let's go do shit. Because this conversation about what we're gonna do is making me want to smash my face into a pew. Do you want me to take your body into the vessel now, Dagon? Yes, please. But we should do it, you know, in a, just in a separate room or something. I... Out of respect for others here. <laughs> Dead people roam the streets. Stare at Dagon. Don't need to add more. Don't need to add more to what you've seen. It's fine. <laughs> Debbie's just staring daggers at this fucking priest, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it wasn't for you, old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll just leave we'll Dagon off. NPC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's, we'll put my just, body in the vessel. He's just saying if there's like, you know, there's a lot of dead shit walking around here. So an extra ghost, he doesn't really, he's not phased. That's all. He, that's all he's saying. Um, during oh. the short rest, Glad I killed his son. <laughs> Lazarin. Oh. My ring is no longer magical that I gave you. Oh fuck! Son of a bitch! I never I used it. That. I know. That's why I'm dropping it because you're not fucking using it. Ah, uh, we yeah, don't fuck need it. fights. Fuck you. We don't need a. I guess we don't need a fucking sleep. sleep um, and then I'm gonna add an infusion to my armor instead. Okay. You're so cringe, dude. Oh, uh, quit whining. <laughs> um. All right. So you you take a short rest. I and, would uh, like Dagon to teach me some signing, please. Is there anything in particular? You, like words that you think are most situational? Nope, nope. Uh, this is purely for fun because Dagon can talk now, so therefore I'm letting Dagon teach me whatever the fuck she wants. Uh, hmm. How many words can I learn in a short rest, Dutch? Or are phrases one or the other? I'll give you three words or a, or a phrase. Uh... I'm gonna go check the words the list Dead. I have so I already taught Port. you. Ghost. Time to fuck. Um, <laughs> Mad <laughs> Betrayal. Because you know vampire. Um, I do know vampire. Ooh. We should. Know. I also know. Uh, I know. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. How about? Yeah, yeah. I got. Things. I got the list. I got the list. How about I teach you? We teach you dead. Corpse. I literally made this joke. Go on. And then I'm trying to think what might be useful here. Fuck. He knows that one. <laughs> um, I do know that one. Lighthouse. <laughs> Werewolf. Oh yeah. Do I know that one. Dead, I actually, I actually don't know the word fuck. We'll teach you dead corpse and werewolf. And we'll, here, we'll throw in fuck too. Yeah, sure. Fuck <laughs> it. 
for them. I think Gen, Gen knew that one. The ring. <laughs> <laughs> what to the bed? <laughs> oh. Um, oh man. Uh, good times, eh? This is campaign hey, one character. Hey, well. What a campaign. <laughs> what a campaign. What a campaign. <laughs> um, awesome headphones. Oh, boys. All right, so I guess up <laughs> next is uh, you guys are going to make a trip to the Burgomaster's house. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah only, have a barbecue. Only after, only after I sign Fuck Cup. Uh, Dagon. Fuck Cup, okay. okay. Cup. I'll say uh, right? as you as you kind of leave the chapel and head, head up the streets of Barovia once more, you make your way to the Burgomaster's house and uh, it will end it as you're just about to approach the like proximity. And we'll pick this up next week where we'll have oh, yeah. a guest join us. Yeah. Are we calling out that guest? Uh, if you want me to, I can, yeah. I, like, I mean, it's up to you, you're the DM. Now. I, I, I know who it is because just... Laura spoiled it. It's going to be uh, Ismera. I, I thought you already Ismera. knew Brian. who was talked yeah. about. On... Artist yeah. formerly known I as Laura. Ismera. Uh, Briar no. is going to be joining us for... <laughs> I, didn't know. I didn't know Laura because I have the brains... A little like, while. Um, however long oh. they feel like, pretty much. Forgot. Denny's going to be in the one shot on Saturday, guys. True! From, yeah. Dice, from Play Dicely. So. Yo, all the yeah. fucking... All the, guests. Guests. all the witches out here. We're trading all out the Canadians on Saturday. Yeah, uh, Briar has been on uh, on the channel before uh, in the form of uh, the Witcher one shots and something else maybe too. I don't remember. I think um, just Witcher one shots. Part of Call of Duty campaign too, right? And yeah, yeah, they're a part of the Call of Duty campaign. Yeah, but like it's, I mean, it's your campaign. Probably. They're a, they're a homie, and um, yeah. it's gonna be fun to. They, they are in the community. Exactly, it's gonna be fun to have them around for a few sessions. I, however long, I don't really know. Um. Do you reckon on. I can forge Strad's signature while we're here? Pfft, good luck. How would you want to? Um, I, I, think, I think we already have... So we can send Strat's menacing signature. letters to people? <laughs> we, you know what we also have? We already have it. We have, or I have, and I don't know if this is from our session zero, or from the, but, or from the time oh. we went to the House of the Dead Kids, I have the oh. the Von Zerovich insignia ripped off a robe. I have a patch of their crest oh, yeah. in my belongings. And you haven't given I... it to the known forger? I mean, they I mean, both I, have I letters know. signed by Strahd. Yeah. yeah, we have letters. He sent us the letter of like, hey, come. See, we yeah. can already do this. Um, yeah, then, we're gonna, like, we're gonna fuck off here. Um, we'll do a Discord oh, on Thursday. Oh, I wasn't here at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, the latest Nether Deep episode will be up on my YouTube tomorrow. We already announced probably. it for you. I did it okay. for you. I didn't say tomorrow. I just cool. said somewhere somewhere this week. So it's close enough. Okay. <laughs> probably tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow um, is indeed part of this week. There will be a discourse on Thursday, but I'm going to have to really talk to see whoever the fuck is available because it's been two weeks. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. See you Thursday. And if not, see you Saturday for a one shot or sun. Do you have a name for the one shot, Soko? Um... Soko's Soko's well, I was hoping that you guys were going to come up with a party name so I could just Soko's use that. House of so uh, we'll think about that this week. All right. To right be determined. But, uh, Baby's first one shot, baby. Double D&D &D next weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great fucking week. Peace out. Fucking peace. Bye.